What up, Chooms? How you doing? I'm back. I just got a call from a fellow fixer named Armando. Apparently he has a problem uh, with one of his clients. We're supposed to meet him at Chunky's, a uh, nice taco stand. I can't wait to get some free tacos. Anyway, I'm gonna bring along Envy and Winchester. Uh, they're some solid crew members. Plus, uh, apparently we're supposed to meet some new net runner named Lucas. Anyway, I hope he's good. So, if you wanna jump into a game, go ahead, go to Night City Overdrive. The description will be in the box below. Also, if you want to, you know, just get a little knowledge about the whole game and Cyberpunk Red experience, go to Cyberpunk Uncensored. And if you would like to witness a live game, go to uh, Chuggy305's Twitch stream. Also, the description is going to be in the box below. Every Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, U.S., um, if you just want to see how a game flows, like, uh, naturally without all the cuts. <laughs> all right, let's get to it. <laughs> okay, well, then uh, maybe we can start um, just to, to, to buy some time. Uh, you are all at the church salsa, which is a sack of this. Yay! This guy, this guy called Chucho. Uh, <laughs> Chucho is like Danny Trejo in Cyberpunk. He was solo, he fought on the fourth corporate war. He retired and his long life dream was to make tacos like his grandma used to make and to share it with the world. So he has a taco stand. Uh, but um, lately some adventures, some edge runners, sorry. <laughs> Still trying to take some runners out of my system. Some edge runners found out that there is more to tacos than uh, in his business. Um, there is a rumor, I probably, um, um, MB, MB will, will have heard about Oh boy, about this, it is where, rumors time. <laughs> where Chunky Salsa was selling some house special, uh, which may or may have not been spiked with the black lace. Um, but, it, has, it hasn't been proven, uh, but but there is that. However, uh, for for this for this adventure, we're gonna say that you guys uh, have a, a good relationship with uh, with Chunky Salsa. This is just like the place that uh, all my campaigns are gonna start at. So, yeah. It's okay. Envy secretly adores street tacos. It's one of her like hidden sort of uh, more low down aspects. Lucas is Mexican American, so <laughs> he loves tacos. Well, you, you probably know. You go for you like a, <laughs> an, an, like your uncle. Like it's just like if some if somebody is cooking, she's there. <laughs> she's she's used to like having to eat prepackaged meals ever since she moved out of folks' place. So it's so, what the hell ever. This is Chucho. And ignore the people shooting on top of Chucky Salsa, that's just Tepco. <laughs> a few nights ago, everything has been clean, mostly. Uh, um, but yeah, that's true. And you guys are waiting uh, for um, this uh, fixer. Uh, did I give him a name? Waiting for me? Or another fixer? No. Um, the guy that's gonna give you the job. Um, gotcha. No, I didn't, I, I didn't give a name. I mean... Is his name I, Alphonse I, I Hegel? Could have, I, I could have made natural it, philosopher. Uh, made it you, but basically it's, it's a fixer for contact that you have. Um, oh, like the middleman, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... He's, um, he's gonna meet you and kind of yeah, hand, you the, hand you the job. Uh, but while you're waiting, and since uh, we know that Woosty uh, knows uh, Liquid and us, have you played with uh, Woosty before, uh, uh, Laura? No, I have not played with Woosty before. Okay. I don't play uh, so let's just start. Either. Let's just start with um, a Liquid uh, with a Liquid introduction. Uh, but hold on, I'm gonna start recording now. 
All right. Um, Mike. Oh, sorry. Welcome to Chucky Salsa. We are starting our session of Silver Power Reds. And uh, while we wait for one of our players to join, we are going to start describing uh, one of our players. Uh, go ahead. All right. Uh, my name is Liquid N7. The character I'm playing is Dice. He's a fixer. Uh, he used to, he grew up, like, as a child, he was raised, uh, like, half his life in the exact area, but then, like, due to some unfortunate business, he was raised up into adulthood and on the go in the nomad life. Now he's a fixer in Night City, and he's an up-and-comer, and his major life goal is to get off the streets. Um, as you are arriving to Chokisasa, you sit down, uh, what kind of taco will you order and how does your character look? What can you tell us? How, how, how do we see him? Well, I would, order, <laughs> I would order a steak taco with mild salsa, sour cream, cheese, and lettuce. Alright, and uh, yeah, could, could you describe your character uh, physically? Anything of note? Okay, um, physically, he's about six foot tall. He's a mixed race. He has, um, he basically has like a vest, a uh, business wear shirt on, and some business wear uh, pants. Um, he also wears um, like some regular street sneakers for uh, comfort. Um, and that, that's basically him. <laughs> he tries to look as normal as he can without sticking out because he feels that it makes uh, being underestimated it makes him um, do better in business and in combat. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. I think what, we're, what I'm going to do uh, with Musti, if he shows up, is I will... I'll make it so that the liquid or dice, uh, you know, preemptively go like, I have this guy and I'm bringing him to the job. Sweet, that works. I worked with him before. <laughs> oh, okay, great, great. Um, so we can catch him up, up to speed. Um, all right, uh, Laurel or um, Web? All right. Go for Good. it. Do a first uh, All right, cool, because I have something ready. Okay. Um, Envy, first thing that you see when you look at her is you probably imagine that she is a complete diva, and you would be right. Uh, she is of uh, mixed Turkish and Greek descent, mostly Turkish. She speaks Turkish with her first language, but she also speaks English. Um, she has dyed red hair, uh, Dice will notice that she does not have black roots anymore like she used to have. <laughs> um, her hair is mostly down except for a braid over her shoulder, but it still goes down to her butt. Uh, did you go tech did. hair this time? <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, she is, uh... She's pretty buxom, but she's also kind of chubby. <laughs> so, like, full thick. <laughs> what? Well, it's her attire. Uh, she wears a... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna start from the, from the bottom up. Uh, for boots, she has a pair of uh, wedged leather uh, heeled boots that go up to her knee. She is wearing uh, pantyhose under that, under a uh, sort of a side, a sort of side swept, uh, like to either side. It, it's kind of like a two tier skirt uh, with uh, it is black with silver sequins, mini skirt. Uh, let's see. She has a pink uh, t-shirt underneath her jacket that says yes in typography. Uh, 
and she is wearing a suit cut leather jacket that jingles a lot. <laughs> I, I, I say that, but everything's secure. Uh, it's just her armor jack. Uh, it, uh, it has plates underneath of the underneath of the jacket that are secured to the jacket with rivets that are, which are attached to spiked studs. So it's very stylish. All right, and what is uh, she ordering? This um, she attempt. is going to get a tofu taco with uh, sour cream, tomato, uh, pico de gallo, which yes, I know has tomato in it already. She loves tomato. And uh, just light cheese on top. Right. Soft shell, oh, of course. Way, we're, in, we're in Santo Domingo. Um, nice. Yes, you get served. It is um, a trash barn. I love it. Uh, um, okay. um, well, and also, uh, hello, Rusty, can you hear us? <laughs> right. okay. um, so, um, uh, well, Lucas, uh, he comes from the e from Eastern uh, United States. He's the son of a uh, of some. Co corporate executives but there was a there was some problems with, with his dad and he um he ran out of, of yeah he f fell out uh, with his family so he came to night city to make a name for himself to start over uh he's a net runner he uh pretty much a hacktivist uh freelancer Hi. yeah like uh you know getting some corporate secrets and all just to uh Put him, put him up for auction on the on the net, or just giving out for free for to, to people that want them. Um, so, um, well, he's like pretty much um, five point eleven uh, feet tall. Uh, he wears, he has long black hair uh, up to his shoulders. Uh, he he's wearing a, a fringe jacket, a red fringe jacket with a black tank top, a Kevlar tank top. Uh, leather, leather uh, pants and cowboy boots. You know, uh, pretty much looks like uh, like Russell Brand would look like with all the bracelets. You know, these uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of rock, rock star vibe. Uh, he also has a cowboy hat. Uh, I mean, yeah, I know it's pretty weird, like the way he looks, but that's that's his thing. He's a little bit hippie, you know, like. Uh, so he's, a bo so he's wearing bohemian clothes, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, totally boho fashion, you know. Uh, he's all for free speech and individual freedom and, and all that jazz, you know. Pretty, he thinks he's a oh, rebel. Oh, hell you yeah. Know. Yeah. En all right. Envy and him are going to get along so well. Envy also likes to think of herself falsely as a rebel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So so you're both pretty bright, like you stand out in a, in a crowd, just by the way that, that, that you look, I would say Dice is a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> am I right? Dice is in a suit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we... If you're yeah. in a suit, you blend everywhere. <laughs> Envy is, in Envy TV, is fashionable, a Dice is in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, you know, like a knob shoot of Johnny Depp or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. We are all styling on these fools. Pardon the turn of phrase. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, that right. that's him. You know, it's pretty uh, outgoing. You know, tries to get along with and with everything. I'm pretty awkward at that also. <laughs> all right. Uh, tell me, what are you? ordering and also um do you want to already have known these characters and work with them before or uh no lucas can produced uh, yeah introduced. like this is the first time that you've seen them yeah it's the first really? time i've seen everyone uh, yeah and i'm ordering a taco de asada with chorizo and uh some cheese on top with uh, onions and cilantro yeah, a burrito. Yeah, taco de asada con chorizo, yeah. Okay. Um, I see you like cheese on your tacos, too. <laughs> That's something we all have in it. Just like light cheese. Just light cheese. She does like cheese, but not much. It, it, it goes straight to her belly, and she 
it was, it was a little bit worried about that. <laughs> okay, so with Lucas, um, I'm gonna say Laurel and Woody come because you are um, part of another dice crew. You worked before, so he, he called you up for this job. And Lucas, yeah, I've worked with dice before. I like him enough. <laughs> He's pretty cool. Lucas, you are. Um, This this uh, this picture called Mr. K. He okay. I should use I I should, I should use my character. No, this this other picture um, Armando. A competitor with you, <laughs> Armando. Yeah. Armando. 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 I like Armando. Ar Armando. Ah, um, the fixer. He's fixer. actually he's more of an agent. He's an agent, uh, he has a couple of clients, uh, one of them is a rocker boy, and one of them is, uh, is Wusty here, can, can you hear us Wusty? See, your mic is mute, but just so here. Alright, uh, have you imported your character? Yes, Navarro, is that you? Yes, Navarro. Alright, Strange to spend time. Grew up in, uh, Northern Atlantics. You wanna grab yourself? Grab yourself. And is Envy the only person here who has, who isn't Latin American? <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, uh, Jesse didn't really grow up Hispanic. Uh, medical textbooks were written in English, so it was. I know how to do shit or speak English. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you arrive a little bit late. Uh, could you tell us? Uh, and the way you arrive is Dice and uh, called you for the job. Uh, uh, could you um, introduce yourself a little bit? See, uh, tell us how do you look and what are you ordering? As I um, move up to Okay Salsa, I'll uh, nod. Uh, I'll, I'll first see Envy and I'll, I'll give her a slight nod and I'll yeah. pat the dice over the back and I'll sit on this other side. <laughs> and uh, see a kind of a odd, estranged man who has um, body armor layering over the top of um, what's not quite a full drape lab coat, but definitely some almost doctor like scrubs. He has a uh, kind of like a filter mask below his neck. All right. And uh, if you were to order a taco, what taco would you order? I Is wouldn't order one. For the night? <laughs> I've come here for business. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you can't just come to a man's taco stand to do business and not get a taco. Come on! In, in Night City, if the wasabi tastes like wasabi, then it's not wasabi. <laughs> like, <laughs> if it smells too real, you shouldn't eat it. All right, bye. bye. He's, 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 <laughs> see, no to the week. That's exactly why Envy went for tofu and not chorizo. Yeah, Dice, <laughs> Dice hears you guys talking, and he's in the middle of biting into his taco, and he's like, huh? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, um, Chucho is like, well, you, you don't know what you're missing, my friend. Uh, <laughs> you don't know what you're missing, but, eh? Uh, you, you, Envy you is going to, to corroborate you, you with to Chucho. Terms. You, you know, come to believe terms me, with, not with for the all flavor. the sopism, I, <laughs> not for all the sopism in the world, my friend. <laughs> uh, I mean, you, you, you look like the guy will eat uh, sashimi in the... Kabuki market. I'm very yeah. Hispanic. And Envy, Envy <laughs> fucking, very English like... Accent. Very Hispanic. <laughs> when Chucho says that, Envy just, like, immediately pipes up with a mouthful and, like, struggles to get it down so she can gush about the sashimi and kabuki. <laughs> Alright, um, so... You guys are kind of wondering what is this cowboy hippie doing here, sitting uh, with tacos. Um, uh, Lucas uh, is just awkwardly eating his tacos. taco, yeah. <laughs> but um, you see, um, uh, 
Hello? Hey. Yo, one second. Okay, okay. Oh, sorry, I, I was happened. worried that I got cut out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it happened just as I was turning my mic up, and I thought my mic just crashed. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I where did it fucking go? Sorry guys, this is my second time jamming on Roll20, so I'm a little bit uh, slow. And I just lost. Don't worry, no worry. The <laughs> like Lucas is just uh, yeah. eating his Don't worry, I'm like, just I'm awkwardly. just going to obsessively file my nails into daggers while you do that. Dice yeah, is just like gonna <laughs> Dice is just gonna be like uh searching his uh agent for just stuff. <laughs> Well, he... I'll eat a cliff bar that I had in my backpack. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bring. Thanks for. I'm just imagining I, I Dice's search history right now. What are street tacos made out of in 2045? Soil well, green. It's you, fine. Be, beef is outlawed because uh, of its scarcity, and there's no more uh, beef. Uh, um, pork still exists. Chicken is outlawed because of the chicken flu. I'm pretty sure. And then there's no um, birds. So most substitutes for meat are actually uh, locust meat. That's locust why blood. Envy went for tofu. And the thing about it is that uh, I think it's cyberpunk lore is that experts agree or at least like food critics agree that um, locust pepperoni pizza tastes better than original pepperoni pizza. <laughs> I can believe that because the pepperoni is terrible. Yeah, sure. Envy, um, we are no longer friends. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no locus, no locus here. All we use is dice we immediately. Have fun here. <laughs> Mystery meat. Dice immediately pulls Very out tasty. his heavy pistol and shoots Envy in the knee. <laughs> <laughs> He's kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I can't right. wait to open um, a package of Benito so flakes and just eat them raw. <laughs> That's basically uh, what it is. This guy, um, Armando. Hang on, he's not gonna be Ronald Wise guys anymore. Where is this? Okay. Envy is a pescatarian, by the way. She doesn't right, trust real meat, Armando. and so you know, Armando shows up. Um, sorry, you can barely Lucas. trust the Atlantic salmon. <laughs> Lucas, you recognize him. He's a person that that hired you. You've done some some jobs for him, for him. Oh, uh, hey, Armando, how how are you doing? <laughs> I'm He's sitting like, out oh. here with these guys, and you didn't Lucas. introduce me or anything. Like I'm here awkwardly sitting. Yeah, no, sorry, my Lucas dies, uh, and this is just your crew, I I assume. And he points at uh, MV and and Winchester. And yeah, I've, like, wor I've worked with them before. They're they're solid team. Oh, oh wow. well, uh, awesome! I, I I I knew I, I knew you guys don't. I knew guys. You you told me you're not running with a with a with a tech um, this time around, and I think you you could use extra hands. So this is Lucas. You know, if if he has cables, he you can use him. Yeah, like, like Lucas uh, just like awkwardly, uh, awkwardly waves at, at everyone. Like, hey, I'm Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Look, as I told you over um, the phone. Um, or not? As I told you over the phone. Um, do you know um, Colette, uh, the model? Uh, uh, I would say um, most of you will know. Uh, just roll me a um, local local knowledge uh, to see if, if you have her or her. It is not that. I'm thing, sorry. I, I I just realized that wasn't for me, but I did it anyway, and I did great. <laughs> Yeah, no, all, all, all of you, all of you is fine. Uh, local, ex oh, yeah, local yeah. expert? Oh, yeah. no. You have actually envy, you've, you've interviewed, you have interviewed yes. them. Um, yes. Before. Um, <laughs> they Getting are, them exclusive uh, interviews. Uh, Put them on my blog. Not, you have not heard of Colette. She's actually, 
wrote written like this called uh, I'm sorry, Rusty. Um, uh, I'm looking at something but, weird that's not making sense. But what what you what you know uh, from and the news is that they are uh, ah I see what they, happened. They, they are very so tall. Happened. They are always changing. They're always uh, wearing like metallic, like chrome kind of a different skins chem skin um, there is actually um a bit of a of a mystery regarding how what's her real look no one knows how she how, how they actually look uh they i'm so glad that i got they, an interview because envy loves fashion yeah they are very very fashionable uh they they are on the rise uh but at the same time you know that uh, colette uh, as a model has been uh, representing a lot of uh, brands lately like um, drinks and uh, vehicles uh it's like she doesn't like they don't have um a limit to what they what they what they do they just uh, appear and popping up everywhere uh, small and uh, Armando um, represents them. Okay, we lost uh, someone. One, two, three. No, we're, we're over here. No, we're, I saw we're cool. the come out of the road 20. Oh, it's Wissy in the. Yeah, he's still in the chat room at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm here. Um, I noticed. Um, stupid me got to update my um, import, so I updated an import from two sessions ago, not last session. Oopie. I was like, where'd my arm go? <laughs> yeah, that's so why I, I delete, always. Should I delete to... that, Jesse? Yeah, just delete that. Right. I I, no. I try to do all of my uh post session updates on the vault instead of in the I, I do that as well I just All right there I forgot to delete it and then import again mm. so the the one that that was saved like as the the newest one for import was a wrong one mm -hmm. alright I got you up and I'll be back in a second no worries Uh, yeah, look, uh, uh, Dice, I, I, as, you, as you know, I represent um, Colette. Um, she called me um, two days ago. She was um, in, te uh, um, in tears. She received um, some sort of blackmail. She, um, she wanted my help. Uh, I told her not to worry, you know, as all celebrities know you are always getting um, hate mail from everyone uh, but she said that this was uh, different um, and she forwarded me uh, the blackmail note and she was really really altered by it and you know I, I care about my clients uh, so um, I, I had a look and I and I'm gonna share that with you. Um, All right. It should be uh, in your yeah. inventory. Oh, Can fuck. Damn, this guy is crazy, bro. I have seen what I have seen. I know you. It's been a good time for those heat seeking bullets. <laughs> Yeah. All right. 
Um. Huh. Okay. okay. So I uh, yeah I told I told her not to worry. I told her I'll I'll handle it. Uh, and um, next day uh, when I called her, I I took. Um, I had already um, spoken with you guys that I may have a, a job coming up because you know I wanted I wanted I wanted her to feel safe. Uh, so I called her to give her the good news and uh, she wouldn't answer uh, which is weird because you know it's me oh, no. uh, but after I, I try a few times I got a call back she was calling from 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 a burner phone I believe and uh, she told me uh, that uh, I was right that uh, it was just probably some someone trolling uh, she says she told me, don't worry about it, it's fine, uh, just uh, stay out of it, I have already handled it. Uh, and she thanked me for for my help and hanged up on me. Uh, and I like, back and she didn't answer. obviously because we're here, you're a good manager and you didn't believe that for a second, right? Well, I wanted to believe her uh, because she said that Everything was sorted. She has a gig. I, I got a gig for her that's paying really good money uh, on the weekend. Uh, and she was supposed to be out of Night City um, um, tonight uh, on, on Friday, flying to Paris to to do to do this shoot. But she she cancelled it and didn't tell me anything. You, I'm losing a lot of edits here by that contract. Uh, I, I need her. I need her to be ready for the weekend, and that's what I that's what I need, you guys. I don't know what's going on with her. I don't know if she's planning to to, to go to see this person or not. She's not answering my calls. Uh, so look, I want her to be safe, and I want her to be ready on Saturday morning in one piece. And if you can bring her to me, uh, or, or or safely, I will pay you uh, 500 eddies each. If you can make sure that uh, whatever files were stolen, uh, whatever she's worried about, if you can take care of the problem, I'll pay you uh, 1,000. But um, when, when I asked her what files uh, were, were taken from her, she said uh, that um, she said that it was, uh, and can, this, is, this is gonna stay between us, okay? Don't uh, we don't want any any of this out? But she said that there was uh, uh, just some sex tapes, and I was like, this is a good opportunity. Why don't why don't we use this? You know, a, a scandal, a sex scandal right now will bump your numbers so much, will make so much money. But she was not very happy with my suggestion. Uh, which I, don't I mean, to be fair, that was a pretty insensitive yeah. suggestion. Yeah, bro. Like, look, you you, no. you don't know her. She's, she, that that Co Colette, she's all about money. She's all about money. She, and, and she had already started doing, you know, more. Um, let's how can we say promiscuous um, stuff. Ah, uh, one way of saying it. <laughs> She had no problem with any of that, so um, risque. Why, why, why would a sex tape that that would actually be just what she needs? Because she had in, in agreed to that. She didn't agree to have something that she had for you know just her and whoever look, she. Look, look, we, we all know if she if she if she didn't want this out anywhere, she wouldn't have recorded it on the first place. So, Armando, honey, I can't just let you get away with saying that. I mean, I'm just stating facts here. I'm just saying, look, it's up to you, but if you can find whatever that is, I know what's good for her. I know what's good for her career. If you can get me that, those files, we, we're gonna be so rich, you won't believe it. So if you can get that, you will guys get a cut of whatever I can make out of it. And don't don't worry, I will, I will talk to her once everything is solved. I'm sure she will she will agree with me and she, she will see things the right way. 
Armando, uh, so she's but, but it's 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 up to you. Armando, so she's not answering her her agent, is she? Uh, at least not from me. And you said that um, she. And then you said I can I can give you guys um, her number if if you want to try. Oh yes, please. Yeah, she transferred. He he transferred the number. Envy is definitely swiping that number. All right. Um, uh, and we're gonna say the day is. Hang on, what does it not say? Um, Saturday. So we're gonna say it's Friday. It's Friday, seven p.m. Okay. Um. So. So Armando, do you know uh, if she had an? Uh, well. I suppose you know you're her agent after all. Uh, she had some appointments or anything tonight. Maybe we can start there. Like, uh, she has anything well, is, on her there agenda? Was, was there an address attached to the blackmail? Yeah, it was the Raven Hotel, room 103. Maybe we should start there to see if she actually showed up. If she has, like, if the guy had actual leverage on her. Yeah, um, I agree. Usually on Fridays, she has uh, Pilates. Uh, in but uh, that, that that's all I have in her agent. She, she doesn't share much of her personal life uh, with me or with anyone for that matter. Uh, she's Wait, so Saturday at 9 p.m. hasn't happened yet? No, it's Friday. It's Friday right. 7 p.m. All right, so basically this is the last chance before shit yeah. goes down. I say we bust into. Right. Let's, I say we bust into the hotel. All, all I want, all I want her is to be safe. Okay. <laughs> I, I okay. want her to be safe, and I want her to be safe enough that I can put her on a plane to Paris Saturday morning, 10, 10 a.m. You do that with me. Yeah. Listen to the girl with the rocket launcher dice. We really should not be busting into anywhere right now. We need to talk to the hospital management to see who to, who got that room. I didn't mean bust in there, like, you know, kicking the door, waving the 4-4. I meant, like, you know, go over there, break in quietly, <laughs> and you need to get into hotel the hotel room. There's not going to be anything incriminating in there until the, the day that it happens. Right. Armando, I have seen look. people that this what, what, kind of what stuff you guys up do. I, the less I know, the better. That's why I'm not doing it myself. I'm giving this to a professional like you guys. Okay, so gotcha. That's the job, and I hopefully will see you um, Saturday morning. Just let me know if you need anything or if you have any questions. You have my number, uh, Lucas. I leave you in good hands of dice. Um, Thank but you, you know, I, I am, I am, I am, I am your fixer. Don't, don't, don't go, don't go changing <laughs> loyalties. Watch out, oh, Armando. No. I might, I might, uh, <laughs> I might steal him away Armando. from you. <laughs> Sorry. Watch out, Armando. I might steal Lucas away from you if he's really good, as you say he is. <laughs> well, you cannot steal it if uh, I get a commission out of it. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, boys. Um, he talked something to Chucho and leaves. Unless any of you have any questions or want to talk to him or anything before he leaves. Uh, so, where do you have the address where she had? She has her Pilates class or whatever Pilates thing she does. Um, yeah, it gives you. Um, a, it's like a gym franchise thing that is in the... So it's a Nautilus subscription. It's a what? A Nautilus subscription. Like Nautilus Family Fitness kind of thing. Um, I will assume so. I'm not familiar with the name. Yeah, it's not like uh, she can pop in and out whenever she, she wants. Yeah, so it is what I'm thinking of. Yep. Okay. Do we do we also have the address of her uh, hotel room that she was sta she was staying in? Um, when you ask for her address, uh, could you? Who's asking? Uh, Dice is asking. 
Right. Uh, Envy hears him uh, asking and wants to help him ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, could you roll a conversation? Conversation. Uh, I'm going to give you a plus one because of Envy's help. Gotcha. Wait, what's... Wait, question. What is your modifier? Because mine's 10 on conversation. I'm only I'm only a three. You can go ahead. So maybe yeah, let me do this part. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> Plus one, that's seventeen. See that's what see do that's I need, why I got that's why I brought you here. Do I need to toss a one okay. Never mind. Okay. He's like Yeah, good 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 try. Uh I've I've heard about you. Uh, I'm not giving uh um, You've heard about me. Of my client. <laughs> Ding. I gotcha. Armando, you just gave me this girl's phone number. Yeah, if you, <laughs> if you want her address, you can ask her yourself. I am not sell. I'm not. I'm not giving or selling this information. I have. I have morals. I have ethics, and the privacy of my clients is my paramount priority. Okay. All right. He's a weird and man. He lives. Who, who yeah. cares? Guy. <laughs> Ambry girl, Ambry girl, I, I totally agree with you. This guy is weird as fuck. <laughs> hey, Lucas, is there any hey. way you could trace, like, given this phone uh, phone number, is there any way you could do, like, a uh, locate my phone trace on this girl? Uh, I could try, maybe, but we would have to be in a conversation with her first. So maybe I could trace uh, the phone. To her the problem place. is that she's not picking up. She's not even picking up for her manager, let alone just some randos who happen to find her number. Oh, okay. Which, uh, by the way, she's yeah. probably going to assume that we're in cahoots with the dude. Unless, like, a uh, uh, question uh, for for the yep. GM. Uh, MB already had uh, an interview with Colette, right? Oh, shit, that's right. Indeed. Yeah. I did, didn't I? Yeah, so nice. maybe Envy, maybe uh, you already had an interview with her, so maybe you could send her a message or something like that and yes. then get in a conversation for a follow up interview, maybe tonight an impromptu interview because I don't know the, the stuff you do, you want to do a blog or something like that uh, for something and you want her along, maybe. To talk about to talk uh, about her Paris thing that she's supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That. Hey, yeah, great. Yeah. look, can I be honest, boys? I'm not sure. Like, I'm totally doing this job, but I'm not sure this is going up on the vlog. I mean, th this is about protecting her privacy, and like, I already know this girl. I don't want to. I don't want to like invade her shit or anything. You know, like. Mm -hmm. And I, mean, I, I, maybe, I totally get uh, you. Maybe and, with Colette, I should try being honest. Envy, this is this isn't about like putting getting famous off this woman's thing. We're trying to help her out. The reason why you're right. around is because right. you have a relationship with the girl already, and you have the gift of gab. We're just trying to find her. Right? To make sure no, she's exactly. What I'm saying though is that maybe she'll listen to me better if I'm honest. Go ahead. We're just honestly trying to help her out. <laughs> All right, I am going. To type a message now. <sighs> All right. Uh, Meanwhile, this entire time, I'm quiet. I'm just thinking, records themselves having sex. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Maybe she didn't know she was being filmed. Humans, what a bunch of weirdos. I mean, I edit, uh, well, Lucas, I uh, edit um, brain dances on the side to get some some bugs. So maybe I could look into into the recordings if I if we get them to see if she was recorded without her consent and then do something about it because I don't trust the man Armando trying to profit from this. I don't like that shit. 
Some yeah, fun no, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with getting paid and all that, but like, I, I, I also do not like this manager. I also don't like this creep. <sighs> Lesser we'll evils, just have to though, ask you know. The gal, so we'll just have to ask the gal herself, only. Yes, we shall. So, Probably, um, yeah. should we check whether or not we're gonna um, just rent out that one hotel room ourselves before the guy makes that appointment? Isn't that a good idea? Either that, or we should just at least roll up and do surveillance. <laughs> Dice, do you have a bug detector on you? Something that can pick up infrared from cameras that they give off? Um, in case see. the hotel room before. Just in case they wanted to uh, install something. Um, Envy, would you roll me uh, either a I do not. <laughs> or um, I'm being you, you honest. Choose, so but I want, I want, I want, I want to measure when you did your interview how much of an impact did you had on her in terms of how nice you were or not. Uh, oh. What would you like to roll for that? Ooh, that's nice. Um, conversation. Just be All like right. if it's about how nice I was and how she unless she like. I'm just thinking in terms of how she remembers. All right, um, that. Um, despite the fact that she is very glitz and ga glitz and glam on camera, it is still very genuine. So acting cannot be this. It's gonna have to be one of her more genuine. Uh, social skills, so I'm gonna go with conversation. Go for it. Ooh. Um, it's not a crit fail. <laughs> do you want, do you have two luck just to make it so cheap? I do have two luck. I now have uh, eight out of ten. Thank you, so that's oh, a 14. A... Alright. Uh, Alright, so that'll make it 14, so I will say that she she does remember you, and she thought that you were nicer than the average uh, interviewer. Uh, so she has a positive uh, memory of you, but you didn't make an impact. If sorry. Uh, Lucas, do you have enough, uh, since, like, she did respond, do you have enough to get a trace? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, I think I could work with that. I think. I, I mean, it depends on the model on, on her phone or anything or something like that, or if she has encryption, which I suppose she I, doesn't, so... I will let you jack into my... I will let you jack into my agent if you promise to leave all of my bullshit alone. I don't want to end up in her exact situation. No, no, no. That Brinky promise. I I, I, I won't touch all anything. Right. Um, so, out, all right. of, out, out of characters, the way I deal with the tracking uh, in the world of the red, um, but I'm open to suggestions, but the way I have done it is um, because it's almost analog, uh, once you have uh, the number, you will get kind of like the identifier hash. You will have to go to a phone tower and hack that phone tower to then find that identifier. All right, and that then makes you'll be able to look I was it. thinking of it. So you cannot do it straight like from the, like the from address. agent to agent, but doing it on the agent, you will get kind of like the identifier of of the phones and the whatever numbers. And then when you get close to an antenna, then you can try to hack that and that will give you like you can triangulate uh, okay. is that does that sound okay is that so which is, which is not a big deal you just yeah. need to know where the antennas are and scan them it's just an extra step but it's not just like a straight away basically you cannot track someone in, in real life yeah we can using, use uh, using GPS. One yeah 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 I, I don't mind, like, uh, uh, I don't mind, mind that way. Makes it uh, a little bit more fun. 
to to yeah to have to look for an antenna. So I don't know, guys. What do you think? I think we should find her first, and then like since if we have time, we should go back to that hotel where she's supposed to meet that dude and sit on that place. Cause it's still just Friday, right? It's still Friday night. Yeah. So we have time to locate her and like calm her down and see what's going actually going on. And then like if she blows us off, we can uh, go to the dude. <laughs> Uh, Envy, you get a message. All right. From cool. a different number. Wait, that's that same guy who was uh, blackmailing her. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Oh, it's not. <laughs> um, how? It's not how? Not if you look here. at the, you sorry. Look at the file, uh, Colette. So C O one three three seven three. Oh, it can't be bad. read as Colette. Hmm? <laughs> if you replace the numbers with letters. Nice. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It flew right over all of you, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah it, like, did, it did, it did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I felt so smart when I did it. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's her. Um, all right. We don't know. So she you don't have any... to call her specifically. So you get a call from a, from a number that you don't recognize, and it says, call me, call me here, call it. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to call her. All right. Um, yeah, uh, Envy? Hi. Oh, my God, Colette. It's so good to hear from you again. Okay, you. this is weird. How? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh, you, you remember the interview. I, I get starstruck easily. Um, so... Your manager is a pig. <laughs> oh my god, have you have you talked to him? Are are you Yeah oh my yes, god. but I told him to I drop it. To... I told him to drop yeah. it. Why is he doing this? And she starts crying. Honey, honey, that's that's why I wanted to get a hold of you before I did anything. I wanted to know what exactly you were going through right now. And if wanted help. All right. Like, uh, I, 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 I've been here before, Ani, and <sighs> like, oh my, and envy, envy starts like, her, her voice starts cracking a little bit too, because she starts le legitimately going back with that nineteen, which she starts <laughs> legitimately going back into her own like stage back in okay, high school okay. when she was going through this okay she's like i, I just i just, i just want to make sure that you're gonna be okay and i just want to help the girl out i don't know, I don't know anymore. i don't know what to do and why is this happening to me she's like okay i told him to drop it because I, I don't know this jazz he's he's threatening me and i i cannot so, like you know, you know that like it, I, I'm. I'm sure that you know this. You're not. You're not a dull girl. I'm sure that you know you can't just like go with this guy, whoever the hell he is. I, I don't even know if he's safe to talk here. I, he, 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 they, they, he, she. I, I don't even know what this jazz person is, but I think. All right. Look, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you something and. Uh, we where, need where, to meet up, honey. Where are you? I'll, I'll meet you. Um, do you know where Chucho's is? The Chucky Salsa? Well, I'm, <laughs> no, she has no idea. She's... Alright, so right now I'm in Santa Domingo. Would you like to maybe... Uh, oh, there's a park by my apartment in uh, the Upper Marino that maybe we could... Have a chat at. Okay, um, send, send, send me an address and I'll, I'll be all right. in an hour. I'm, I'm gonna send you something. Please, please don't. I'm not going to do please. anything without your input first, honey. I promise. Okay. She hangs up, but she does send you uh, this, which I'm gonna um, show to everyone. 
Let me know if you get it. Uh, so I may have not acted it, but she says that she got that after she um, called uh, after she oh called no. Armando for help. This guy is literally a fucking incel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right. So. Oh. Uh, I, I changed his name. Sorry. Tell Armando, not Eric. Uh, yeah. I. <laughs> it's okay. I. I. It's still understood. Um. Uh oh. So dice, you have a car, right? Uh, no, but we can get we can get a I can get a good deal on a cab. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to give Dice the address so that he can get us a cab. Hope there's a cab that holds five people. <laughs> on the bright side, we're not cutting through the combat zone. We're going around it. All right, so I call I call one of my favorite cab companies to pick us up. Yeah, no worries. Uh, mm, and let us mm. and and to drive us around all night. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be roll me a um, executive service. A trading. I got gotcha. trading or or yeah, I think trading could, could do. Trading sounds good for us service. All right, do 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 do. Hey. Um, I'm gonna say this cab is like you you worked with him before he's um, a driver for hire he puts his cab away and he says I'm, I'm yours for the next 24 hours for um, 200 eddies 200 eddies okay 200 is a nice payday for a, for a week's work yeah usually I will say 400 but with that roll, I'm just having it. And we're gonna move to. I don't have a pass. This is this is my this is my friend Manny. He he always uh, hooks me up. Hell yeah, <laughs> I like your man. Well, right, this is not a park, but it's. Um, let's pretend it's a park. <laughs> I'm willing to do that. Envy, I think so. I think you and uh, Lucas should talk to her, and me and um, R Winchester should like uh, hang back. That way, we're not like crowding her. Yeah, not to mention she'll know that we already have people like who are professional for it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, and, and I mean, yeah, you look like too formal for this kind of job. No, no offense, of course, but uh, but yeah, I agree. Hey, I'm always head to low, head to toe legit, but like, um, I just don't want to like push her over the edge. <laughs> she might, th she might think you're an agent for someone. So yeah, yeah. let's not spook her out. Yeah, exactly. Is it supposed to be black, or is it just loading or something? Oh, oops. Uh, oh, yeah, because it's black. <laughs> Why? This is the upper marina we're talking about, so this is going to be like a, a small coastal park. Long. <laughs> Less quite coastal. Probably with a good look over the, the cove. Sorry, I'm trying to reveal this map. What the hell's going on? Mm. 
in the meantime, we are on the way to the to the park, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Um, tell me, which of the three of you boys is physically the largest? Uh, like, who has the highest body? I have a body. What are you guys' body scores? My body scores are eight. Mine is five. Nice. I have a body of eight. All yeah, right, I'm so, just a wuss. <laughs> so, uh, Dice and uh, Winchester have eight? Yeah. All right. Envy is going to uh, can you see now? Uh, yep, like yep. pull the two of you beside and say, okay, just a heads up. If we find this guy and he's got anything in his hands and we have to take him down before he does anything, just close your hands over his and then with the other person needs to cut his hands off. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. It might be a dead man switch, damn it. Envy. Yes. And then I'll, I'll point to a red light about two stops ahead of us. You know I can hit that dead in the center with my gun, right? I'll handle that's it. very that's very cool. That will not help with and with that. I can shoot dead switches out of people's hands. The problem is that if the if the dead switches dead man switches go out of people's hands, then they go off. She has a point. Their hands are closed. When you cut them off, they're just going to open it back up. They don't go. Not if you have your hands clasped over them. Professional. Okay, so, so you want us to collapse them down while they're in the middle of a confrontation. Yes, and then chop them off. That way he can't un. That way he can't break it. I'm, right. ima I'm imagining I'm imagining me coming out, running out to this dude, duct taping his hands closed, and then you come and <laughs> slip tap that shit off. <laughs> Would it just be easier just to shoot the guy in the head or something? Not if he's easier got to a dead man it? switch. <laughs> uh, what if you rig it to a biomon? What if you rig it to internal cybernetics? What if you have it attached to your TT protection control? There's there's too many ways to dead, dead men switch can be dead made. Um, we just have I'm to gonna keep go. Away. Um, <laughs> since you mentioned dead switch, uh, could um, uh, Lucas, can you roll me um, cyber tech or se electronic security roll? Electronic security? Okay, I'm going to roll that. Or cyber tech? Uh, yeah, electronic security will do. Yeah, because it's higher. Okay. Twenty. Um, if if you had uh, some files and you were using them as blackmail, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what you would usually most likely do is uh, to have them kind of ready to upload with some sort of timer that you have to enter. Oh a yeah, password. yeah every certain amount of time uh, and that that that's kind of the with your that knowledge th that's how you would do it and it's like pre okay. pre safe that, that's okay. what would come to your mind um, okay so guys guys so what if that I mean, dead there's, man there's other ways but that's yeah. the way that you would do it yeah that what if even if we cut the guy's hands or shoot him dead what if the files are automated to upload? If there's a pa if there's some, if he said a recurring password or something, we are not the. I mean, if we kill the guy, we might fuck everything up, anyways. But I could get probably the files before they are uploaded. I think if All I right, that's if I could interface with his agent or something like that, I probably could do it. Mm. Okay, so Envy rolls up on Colette with a netrunner in tow so that she knows that Envy means business, but in a good way for Colette. Can, uh, so, showing up, so let's say it's a park and you're meeting her like in the intersection of the park in a bench. All right. With a... Uh, all right, so let's see, let's, let's imagine this is the... 
bench. Yeah. Yeah, this is like the pad oh, was that? back. Oh, that, shit. That's, whoa, oops. Fuck. Yeah, that's just a... Um, why oops. is painting? Okay. Oh, uh, no. So you are with her. Uh, Lucas, you are with Envy. And uh, yeah. Liquid and Wusty, where would you be for the meeting? Let's say you arrive early, so you have a t some time to, to set up. Um, is this a rooftop over here? This is the, for the park, right? <laughs> yeah, so, so if you park off map, let's say that you parked uh, that way somewhere. Uh, hmm, hard to say, hard to say. Like, what time of night is this happening? And is there like is a crowd? It's now around 8 p.m. 8 p.m.? Yeah. So people would still be like walking around. Um, the occasion, the 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 occasion. Probably be on the other side. Not in uh, this you, part. You have now. you have some joggers. You have some people jogging with security behind them. It which area? Is <laughs> this? Uh, upper Marina. So close upper to marina. the corpse zone. Yeah. So you have some corpse like jogging with like oh. two three guys behind from time to time. Uh, like the by the entrances, the, the entrances of the park is like a secure park, so you have guards posted like on all the entrances and exits, yeah. and it's pretty well illuminated. Uh, but uh, yeah, as it's late and it's a Friday, uh, there's also um, somewhere around here uh, appears to be a, a group of uh, people dressed up like vampires and they're having some sort of uh, oh, that, uh, it's it's that game. Game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. the philharmonic vampires yeah well okay since um envy and lucas are talking to her over here and winchester is ar already hanging back over on this side uh i'm gonna be over here and just continuously using my perception to see if anybody's like paying uh more attention to our little group than anybody is supposed to. All right, uh, roll me a, a perception and... Uh, gotcha. Yay, we're getting a lot of very high roll. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> One second. I'm just waiting for that wheel to turn where we're all starting when we're in combat and everything is like a crit fail. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I brought a rocket launch. What do you think I'm not rolling? I gotta I got save all the crit successes for later. I keep, I keep using them too early. I say that I brought a rocket launcher, but I'm going to be entirely real. Envy doesn't, like, get the rocket launcher until she knows she's at least going to case the joint. So it's in the cab? Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, actually, it's at home, which it happens to be... <laughs> what, okay. What's your um, heavy weapon skill, anyways? Uh, still bad, but getting better. <laughs> I'm at an 8 base. Ah, okay, uh, guys, with that roll, uh, you don't seem to notice anything strange. Um, uh, you uh. notice that um, one of the philharmonic vampires kind of <laughs> looking at the vampires. <laughs> like, looking at the at envy and I mean, with, with her red hair and Lucas, like, the notices, but then stops paying attention. Um, but can you also roll a locate uh, object? Uh, reveal and conceal? Yeah, reveal and conceal. Yeah. Oh, man. Eh, not bad. <laughs> pretty, pretty decent, actually. <laughs> um, are, do you have binoculars? Are you looking... Uh, do do you have anything that will allow you to see things closer? Oh, please tell me I bought binoculars. Yes, I did. I bought binoculars. A badass. Nice. 
Okay. Uh, give me one point of luck, and you can spot something that you couldn't have otherwise. You have one point of luck for me, my friend. All right. Uh, you um. On top of a tree, you see. Um, I'm gonna assume that Envy told him told told Colette exactly where, like in the intersection by the bench, yeah. right? Okay. Uh, so in this tree here, as you're looking through the binoculars, you see a little flare, and. I'm sorry, I didn't see the tree. Oh, it's here? Uh. Oh, is it? Oh, this one right here? Here. Okay. You see a little flare, and... Uh, yeah, from there you can see that there is um, a camera. Sweet. It's... Hey guys, don't react to this, but there's a camera in a southwestern tree. Do you guys have communicators? Um, Envy has her agent in her hand at basically all time. I mean, I, I think, let me see if I have an agent, because I think I did. I, I have yeah, my agent have also, agents. yeah. I have, but, uh, I have an agent and a, and a radio communicator. But uh, if you don't have a radio communicator uh, I will say that you cannot communicate so whoever is on, has a radio communicator they can hear this but if you don't have one if you just have your agent uh, then then you don't unless can I, a message can I <laughs> can, can I text you? everyone <laughs> can you what sorry can I text everyone <laughs> you can definitely uh, text Envy and she yeah. will get it <laughs> <laughs> like you, the, te you text everyone. Uh, I'll, I'll, s <laughs> I'll say out loud, hey, don't look at your phone. It's suspicious. And then I'll start walking towards this tree. Okay. So you, so you did okay. here. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to look around and pretend like I had to take a piss next to it. <laughs> roll, roll me, uh, the old I need a pee thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. As this is happening... Um, you see Colette uh, arriving from here. Right. She doesn't notice anything. She seems to be in distress. She goes and sits right next to him. And she looks at Lucas and like it's 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 here with it's here with you. Yeah, that that sorry, I'm I'm MB's intern. <laughs> I'm just following her following her around trying to learn the ropes. I'm Lucas, by the way. And Lucas uh, thinks it's scanned in a really awkward manner. Okay. Envy, you, uh, you know, feeling the buzz in her uh, agent and checking out the notification, uh, whispers under her breath to Colette, anything important, Sam? Sorry, anything what? Anything important, let's say out loud. Very quiet. I'm sorry, man, I'm having... Um, and anything sorry, important, I'm, I'm don't having... say out loud. Very quiet. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Gotcha. Um, but she's whispering that. And she's going to say, Oh my god, Colette, it's been so long. You're just as beautiful as ever. Uh, hang on, let me roll her cool. Okay, um, she, it's like, what, what do, you, do, you, do, you, do you think he, he, he can hear, hear us? Here, is he here? Please, please tell me, please tell I, me that's not here. One of my boys, so I can't, that's right. Well, you said you wanted to help me, yeah. but I... 
I don't know. So, um, how's the fashion? How's like the fashion game been going for you lately? My uh, yeah, really it. good. I mean, uh, I until this, but my, um, friend, my friend here is actually so. If you want to pursue getting out of this, I have. I just did some help. Not only telling what you, but is anyone else having the trouble hearing, or is it just me? It seems like uh, I, I'm 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 I'm, per I'm purposefully whispering for like the yeah, RP. Just, That's my I, fault. I, I, no, no, that, that's that's great, but uh, I think the the noise suppressor is cutting out half of what you're saying. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm catching yeah. like so, half of that. Um, I'm just going to say what I mean out loud, and uh, Envy good. is going to be whispering what I'm saying, but out loud right. she's going to be talking some small talk nonsense. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Roll me a conversation uh, just to see how good that information is. That would be acting, I to. think, actually. Okay, or acting. Go for it. Woo! All right, no problem. Uh, yeah, so let's talk in a normal voice. No, a normal All right. And we assume that you're experienced. So, and when that's, while this is happening, Lucas, do you sit down with them or...? Uh, can I... Is there something I could... Oh, for... Is there a way I could interface with that camera? To shut it down. Um, the camera if, that, uh, if that, the camera that... gets shut down, they might get tipped off. Oh. Whereas you... if we're if we're quiet about what we mean and then talk nothing about things that we're yeah, yeah. about everything else, like out loud, then nothing gets tipped off. All right. Yeah, because I I, I was thinking uh, like maybe I could like. Just walk around, you, you interface with the camera to try to see if there is an access point. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you wanted to? Do? Yeah, exactly. To to check for an access point and maybe just interface there to to. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking of shutting it down or like putting right, some so uh, forgery there to see that. Do you know it has to be like within six meters of the. Yeah. Thing. So, I'll but he, he can scan close the it, I imagine, right? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking like uh, looking if there's an access point around us, so I can just jack in and you know shut down the camera stealthily. All right. Uh, and, tra and trace you where the signal's going. Cyber deck to scan, or you, you, you're gonna put on your smart goggles. I take it. Uh yeah. Uh, sorry, that uh, I rolled it uh, by accident. That's fine. Yeah, uh, I have with me like my cyber deck normally, and I have my my virtuality with me. I mean, I carry my my stuff in my carry all. Okay, but you're not always wearing them. So right now you want to put on your virtual goggles, your smart glasses. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. To scan for an access point. Yeah. Yeah. Two roll roll scan. Uh, scan scan. Let me check where it is. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Which skill is is? Um, so that will be uh, your, perception. No, your interface. I'm ah. just one d ten. Interface one d ten. Okay, I'm going to roll. Uh, if it's a starting character, one d ten plus four. One d ten. Oh, sorry. Yeah, plus your rollability. Okay, my rollability is four. So thirty. Four. 13, yeah. 13 meters, okay. Uh... Yeah, so I found something or I don't. Give me one second, let me... Yeah. Let me ch check the range of that. Hmm. 
Sorry, one second. Uh... Okay, uh, that's a good enough roll. You, uh... You don't see any access points, okay. which uh, will translate probably what what you can deduce from this is that uh, the camera that is uh, just recording, so it's not actually being uh, controlled. So it's not being monitored. So it's just like a park security normal camera. No, no. Basically, no one is monitoring that camera right now. Is this? Ah. Recording, um, but so, it's not live. If, if it was live, there would be a there would be an access point somewhere. Uh, there would be an architecture controlling that the camera. Means that right? you can just break in and take everything out, replace it with a fake. It means uh -huh. it also means that if that was strategic, like um, Winchester, can you see if it's um? pointed at the bench I'll slowly peek around try to see the angle yeah, it's definitely. pointing at uh, it's, the camera is very small so it's hard to know exactly where specifically it's pointed but it is pointing in that relative direction it's not like a like a camera with a lens that you can see, okay, it's looking at this or there. It's, it's kind of like, like a, a GoPro? Think of it like a webcam. Oh, okay. Whatever, whatever phone she was using to talk to you, Envy, that second phone, the guy's like uh, maybe listening in on it. So it might have a listening device on there even if you're whispering. All right. Ah, uh, man, I don't have a... I don't have a bug detector. Actually, actually, the only person who noticed that um, when I said, well, okay, I'll, I'll text you that information because you don't have a radio communicator at the time. Yeah. Oh, um, nice. well. So, Dice, you're texting you, uh, everyone about this? Yes, basically. Okay, um, and what have you decided to do about the camera? Mm. I text uh, Winchester, like, can you knock that camera down? <laughs> don't knock it How down. How notch down do you want it? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, lean, just like, I'm just casually texting, like, uh, knock that camera, like, I don't know, lean into the tree and move it. <laughs> <laughs> Pee on it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Do something about the camera. I'm, and I'm just casually, like, just trying not to and, raise uh, any suspicion. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at him across the street and I'll slowly move my hand over to my holster and then I'll, like, kind of move my eyebrows up, like, like this. <laughs> no, you dumbass. No, don't shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Then, I'll text about back. then why, 12, then why do we need to move up? it? We could just talk somewhere else. Good idea. Uh, it would so be I, much easier for us to try to use forgery in order to make a stable loop of nothing on that recording. We just have to get into the camera first. Yeah. Does anybody have a so forgering they, skill? I have a for forgery, but there's no access point to the camera. Well, no one's recording. Well, nobody's oh, live. No, no, no one's watching it live. So you could just like. Yeah, you could walk over and and pick it up. Some, and someone's do it. probably just tracking. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I on their phone, right? Exactly. If we make Colette leave and we leave someone behind, or two people behind, they're going to come back for the camera. Yeah, I, I mean, we could try to force uh, something. They, yeah. It doesn't look like... Oh, that's that a good here. idea. A second location. 
So we meet up here, have uh, like at the bench, have them pointed at it, and then go to a second location where they're not ready for us, and then just talk there. Yeah. Uh, we, we could also leave someone behind when they want to come get their camera back and just Jump the shoot them in the face. <laughs> well, we I would just dice for that, just because he's such a big boy. Well, so is Winchester. I'm like, how you, how good are you with the gun dice? <laughs> I'm pretty sweet with the weapons, uh, but all right, all right. Okay, let's. I I doubt we should. Right. I doubt we should just shoot them because we still need to find out where the information is, though. You know what I mean? I got a fifteen. Yeah. I got a fifteen on handgun. All right. So I... while all while, while you guys are discussing all of this, Colette's panicking and hear you talking about uh, one person staying shooting the camera not shooting the camera maybe there's a bug maybe yeah, do we are, do we are texting to another location you. uh are you i mean we i suppose we were texting i was texting with yeah you. no i'm just like imagining my myself in a group chat with a bunch of people just like not yeah, able okay. to take uh, my okay, eyes off fine. of it but I'll, also being present to my shit so what are you gonna tell Colette? Like she's looking at you, like because it's been a good, all right, yeah, a good time. Um, she's I'm going to for tell you her. And just uh, yeah, we're just chatting at first. Um, under my breath, though, I'm going to say, okay, we all know girls' rules: never go to a second rotation uh, to a second location, right? But if that dude knew that you were on the phone with Armando, then he knows that you were on the phone with us. We need to make sure that he can't track us so but, easily. But how, you know? can, how, can, how can he know? I changed I change phones. Look, I'm using this burner one. My 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 agent's off. Well, uh, my my friend found a camera and a tree. So what? What? Stay calm, honey. Stay calm. Oh my. We're gonna figure this out. I. That's why we're going to a second location. If you're okay with that. She stands up and she starts walking away. And she's like, I can't. I cannot be here. This. I. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have come here. I. And, and I'm going. Slowly walking away. To follow her. Not even gonna grab her. I'm just going to agree with her and say, No, you're right. We shouldn't be here. But we do still need to talk. And Fuck! Like, <laughs> God damn it. Okay, she's like, um, if 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 he if he's hearing me right now, if he if he can see everything, then then I've already fucked. What what it's what just if he, pointing at what the if he puts up the it's fight? What if he puts up bench. the fight? You 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 don't know what's in there. This cannot this cannot come out. You, 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 you just don't know me. You just want a story. That's 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 all you. Honey, that's all that you is want. not what I'm here about. Look. Okay, I am going to take my camera, my GoPro, and I'm going to put it in her hands. And I am going to take the memory chip from my from my chipware socket and put it in her hands. And I'm going to say. This is your show, girl. You do what you want, but I am not here for me. I'm getting paid by your manager if you want us to go after this, but that's because of his insistence, not because of anything that I'm asking. I promise. That's persuasion. And I go will gladly go relinquish a memory chip and my camera for this job. Okay, because you did that, I think, uh, and that persuasion role, she kind of regained your trust. Um, so she's gonna stop. Uh, all right. While that happens, what's what what have you decided with the ca with the camera? Because we're spending way too much time here. So let's make some decisions. Uh, Winchester right. and the camera. Lucas told you not to shoot it. Uh, Just, I Lucas, mean. Do you guys wanna kind of walk all together so you can just talk? No, that 
And yeah, yeah, I yeah, we're we're already off camera now, so like that's fine. So you're here, and let's say and I I just walk here to to where Winchester is. Um, I'll look at him and like put my hand over my neck and just like like no, what are you doing? Go away. And I'll, I'll text Dice um, at a different street corner I'm going to walk to for him to pick us up. So we just don't even look like we're going the same way. Okay. I'm, I'm just awkwardly like look around and just move away to this, this place, to this street where, where, I, where I was. Like. Dice, Dice is actually going to text Lucas <laughs> to just stay right there for a second. Um, Winchester. Oh, oh, Winchester. Oh, and, I just text back, okay, okay, okay. I don't know what I'm doing, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Winchester. Moving randomly. If you can, if you could shadow Envy and, um, and Colette, Lucas, I'm going to need you to get into that camera, use your forge, and to loop that without, um, with us never being around. Alrighty. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. And then... Okay. So I just... Yeah. Move here, take the camera. And let me roll for Jerry. Uh, roll me first a security check. Uh, you are going to be at 13 just so that you can uh, access okay. it. Electronic security? Yes, please. Subconsciously making sure I'm outside of a five by five area in case it's a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> why, do you, why do you think I'm still across the street? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> you um, you actually pick pick the camera. Uh, it's kind of been mounted with like a velcro kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a it's a it's. An advanced camera, like it's a. Uh, it it also has a microphone, but yeah, you. I'm gonna say that you scan again just to make sure, and definitely, it's not connected to anything. Uh, now, you, um, roll me the forger you said. Roll. Okay. You see, Let's you're trying see. to replace it with just like an empty bench, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Empty bench at night. Okay. Hey, consistent fifteens. <laughs> It's like he's playing okay, a rogue. <laughs> uh, all right, that that that's good. That's gonna take you some time though, like to actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right. Like, I'm gonna say about five minutes. Uh, while you take the camera, I kind of walk it around and whatnot. All right. Uh, in the meantime, uh, dice. What are you wanting to do? Okay, uh, dice wants to communicate to everyone. Okay. Envy, if you can um, get her to go back to wherever uh, she felt safe, and let her and let her tell you where that is, and then ask her to call you because like you're concerned and stuff to see if like that she got there, and then we're gonna wait for no this guy. No more calling. No more calling with her involved. No, like, I, any I, calling that we do with her involved, even if she has a burner phone, is going to tip off our like our target that's the we point cannot be that's what we want oh really yeah basically covertly you're gonna get we're, we're, we're trying to get her location that way we make sure she's safe but we also want the guy who's gonna come back for the camera so that we can get to the information so have her call you to to make sure that she got home safe you know what I mean all right yeah. Because like we're actually we are actually trying to help her and we want to <laughs> you know what I mean? But in order to do that, I we just, need to get the guy. I just want to let you go like you guys know right now. Full stop. If you guys chase that paper more than you chase what Colette wants, Envy is going to turn on you. <laughs> and fail the job on purpose. <laughs> I am dead serious about this. <laughs> this doesn't have to happen. Right. <laughs> we can get both. <laughs> exactly. If we can get both if we play this right. So since since Lucas is um, forging, working mm -hmm. with the camera, uh, Winchester, you are shadowing uh, Envy. Uh, I guess I am now. Um, while right. while this is happening, uh, I'll go ahead and take note. 
um, thinking on the aspect of bugs and new phones and how this person always seems to be able to track uh, Colette. Does she have any cyberware? Oh, uh, obviously. Well, she's, yeah, she's packed with cyberware. Hmm. Uh, do you want to do... Um, I'll text tell Envy. Me a, a straight tech? Yeah, I, I, I was going to... Let's see. Yeah, do a cyber tag just to see what you what you can find on her. Nice. nice. And could you roll me a deduction? All right. You have to luck. Yep. All right. Well, you don't anymore because you gave them to me. So, with your cyber tech, one thing that you have found being a med tech when you do, um, do you, did you used to work for like a trauma team or something? It seems like I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess, let me ask again. Have you worked with corpses? <laughs> Lots. Have you done autopsies? All right. Yes. Um, you, you recall that, uh, it's not, it's not uncommon, uh, for people to install install viruses on uh, the interface interface plugs, and since um, you hear that her agent is off, she's using a burner phone, and apparently that's still being intercepted, you think that you can check her interface plugs to see if they have been um, tampered with. Uh, Which of course has the obvious problem of if this bug goes off then things could get sent out. Yeah. But, well. as well, uh, because you're spending luck on it, um, and again, with the world of Cyberpunk Red, it's kind of uh, knowledge, like uh, common knowledge, but the, at least the way I see it is for something to transmit live, especially if it is data, it has to connect through the data pool. Yeah, it's got to be connected to a local network. So you yeah. take her out to so the Badlands as, and disengage as it is the virus, right now, it doesn't matter. On the park, that's probably not a data pool that's nearby, but the moment that she gets close to a close enough for whatever to a, to a data pool or, or, or some access point, then if she has been bugged, whatever has been recorded will go through. I'll, uh, I'll text Envy that. All right. Uh, and yeah, Colette is walking towards uh, the exit of the park, which will come to a, you know, there's a shopping center across the road. It's, it, it will come out into a busy section as she's, as she's walking. She, you probably have two, three minutes before you exit the park. What would you like to do? Um, that taxi is consigned to DICE specifically, right? I can send, I can yeah, send Manny wherever I need to. In the opposite direction. All right, can you get Manny to get me just east? Back my way? We just need to, we, we just need to get out of town. Me and Colette just need to get out of town real quick. I'll message, do you know how to uninstall an interface virus? No, I do not. Can I please have some help? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to walk I'm... you through it, but it's it's a hardware issue, so we shouldn't need a net runner. I can okay, so if it's into cyber hand tech, a bit and rip if it it's out. Cyber tech, I can do cyber tech. This is more of a surgery. Ah. Uh, uh, if it's a virus? I mean, if it's a hard stuff, it, stuff is encoded generally with this kind of equipment into the hardware. Because okay. if it was a software issue, uh, all kinds of people, general software, especially for corpos and execs that run um, cleans and sweeps just on their basic home central data pools, it, it would call it in a second. You have to make sure it's in there permanently that the software couldn't hunt it down. 
and envy. We can't take the bug out uh, right now anyway, because they could just drop another bug in later on. We need to get the guy. Yeah, obviously. We well, did. I'm talking more so get out of town so that we can converse without being... So that we can first off get her to a safe house that is not connected to the data pool. Second off, discuss things away from a data pool so that she can just, like, not have to worry about this shit. You're, and you're, you're in a spot where she's not getting listened to right now. Right, but she's going to have to eventually leave this place and have all of what has been recorded sent out. We need to set up a... We, if, if, if possible, we need a safe house for her. Like and a place some, where uh, we can corroborate with her and, like, meet her without having to worry about being tracked. Do you find with nomads? I know a few buddies out in the east. All right. Um, I need to take a couple of minutes, uh, but you guys come up with a plan. So Colette will basically uh, follow your your advice. Just work out work out a plan, and, and let me know. I'll be back in a couple All of right. minutes. All right. Um, five minutes. In order to save Colette, we need to get the guy and get the information. So right. we need her to keep her bug, and and actually tip off the guy. That she's out of the area, so he grabs the so he grabs the um, the camera, so we can jump on him. After that, okay. after that, we can um, we can take care of the bug. And then she goes to Paris, um, and lives her life. Yeah. So first things first, we need to tip the guy off. Right. Secondly, we need to get her out of town and into some nomads. Um, Envy uh, is going to volunteer her payout to pay the nomads for keeping hold of Colette. Okay. Uh, like, every Eddie is going to, the, to that nomad family if they will just help us out here. This is personal. <laughs> well, well, once he once he says he knows him, maybe they won't ask for money. Winchester says he knows him, maybe they won't ask for money. <laughs> well, that'll be up to to Mr. Goat. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but either way, if they do need some some form of payment, uh, and V's payout will go to them. If not, she will be very grateful. But. Nah, this is some actual good guy shit that we're doing, but it's like some fancy good guy shit, and I am all about this. Envy <laughs> is emotionally involved in this job. So then, we'll... I mean, so how are we getting the guy um, yeah, to so get for, uh, from the first camera, of course? To the, I uh, mean, uh, yeah. Colette and I are going to walk over to the shopping mall like we had suggest, uh, like had been, like she was already doing, so that mm -hmm. uh, she can go ahead and tip off the, the camera collector. Um, and then after that, we're going to get her out of town and into the custody of some friendly nomads who will keep yeah. her away from the data pool for the night. So okay. that way we can correspond with her. Uh, in person without having ears on us. Okay. It sounds like a plan. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. All right. Uh, my internet headache up. Um, question for you, Mr. Goat. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's getting I'm here. Uh, oh. I'm back. Uh, oh. but, okay. Uh, I just heard my name, that's all, that's all I heard. Yeah. Um, so, uh, the nomads. Uh, we're gonna be asking nomads to take to take uh, custody of Colette for the night. Will they be asking payment for this? The nomads. What nomads? The, um, the nomads that Winchester knows. Some just um, friendly associates. Don't know. I don't. They don't owe a particular favor or not. Just help them once. 
And the fact so that they don't know her exactly. Either, take her. Out. Uh, just like take protective custody over her for the night, so that they can, so that she can be corresponded with without a bug. Basically, um, we have a physical place to go find her to ask her things. There's also a few hotels out in the interstates out there that can just you can have a room for a night. Dice, do you want to roll uh, streetwise? Uh, sure. I would just I would prefer nomads because hotels might have net access. That is true. All right. Yeah, with that roll and with the Winchester contacts, you put one and two together, you manage to make a phone call and you talk with uh, just uh, um, a nomad guy to make it easier. Uh, so what you're asking her is basically pick her, pick her up, tell me where you want this person to be picked up, give me a specification of what type of place you want this person to be taken to, for how long, and if you require security, and I'll give you a quote. All right, uh, pick her up at the shopping mall that we are going to right now. Just send her the address for that. We want to take her. Uh, no specific, no specific uh, needs for lodging, except for uh, us to have access to her and her to not have access to the data pool. And, you know, just make sure she doesn't get kidnapped. Just for the night, not even uh, until the morning. All right. Uh, I need Dice to be on the call with this guy because that last part is a bit tricky. So he's going to go, what, what do you mean he's not getting kidnapped? Is this, I'm, I'm, we're not taking anyone that's hot, Dice. Like, <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. It's just, uh, it's just like your basic stalker move. Uh, we just need we just need her to stay away from any type of data pools for for the time being. Man, if if someone comes for us, we're shooting, and I, we we don't care about your cargo. We're we're not we're not solos. Yeah, if they come if they come for you, you do what you got to do. Just just give me a ring to let me know that uh, what you did with her. Uh, so do you let up. them? I'll take, do you I'll let take her know. to this. Um, I, do you know that petrol station that we used for? Ex job. Yeah, uh, I, remember. I remember. We we can we we can set her there. I have me and one guy, and we'll just guard close if anything. But if anyone shows up, we're shooting. That isn't look, one of us. look, uh, just just treat her nice. Um, we're trying to actually help her out. Like, give me a call if something goes bad. Uh, it's just a, a little mini babysitting job. Like if someone if someone tries to do something, defend like you know, take them out. <laughs> should I roll um, like should I roll like trading uh, or something? <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, absolutely. <laughs> That's oh, a shit. very good trading roll. <laughs> all all um, we need you to do is just hold on to her for a little bit. She might not even be with you for too long. All right. Um, I remember the guy having a plus 12 for conversation. There might be something similar for trading. Um, no, I'm, I'm just thinking that's a super good role for trading. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't even need her there technically overnight. We just need her there for four hours so I can splice and dice He's like you know what I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you man we don't, uh, we don't need the bug gone <laughs> I'll, 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 do, I'll do it for you just um, um yo I know I know where you can get some great tacos <laughs> I can hook you up with that supply chain Yeah, look, I we'll, we'll, we'll hold it, are... don't worry about it. Uh, we, we, we owe you a favor, but just remem remember... Remember us for next time. No problem. Um, you know I've yeah, always been good to you guys. <laughs> I think these guys are super red-blooded hillbillies that have access like... to the tech they but shouldn't can, have. Can, can, can we... Can we... <laughs> 
We can get autographs, right? Yeah, I mean, if she wants you, if she wants to. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, just, just make sure she does give us some autographs. That's that's all we're asking for now. And um, yeah, we'll be we'll be there in an hour. <laughs> and me is an going to to just like drop her shoulders and let her her head fall back, and she's gonna like just like convey that to Colette, just like. The security detail wants autographs. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I, I don't understand why, why do I have to, go? If, if, if she's listening to me right now, I don't, I don't understand if, wouldn't she know? He's not so much listening to you right now as he is recording a packet to be sent can, later. Can, oh my God. But can, can you just take it out, please? I don't. I don't want. I don't want. That. If we take Give it out, me. if we take it out immediately, that's going to arouse suspicion and compromise the job. So, so what you're saying is he's gonna listen to this right now. Everything I'm saying, everything I've said for the past two days. I, wh when did I even get it? What? How long has that? He oh my God. is a great question. You can need you just to take it out. Can, what? I. Okay. We're going to what, get what you. If, what if what if what if I just I just go tomorrow? I, I don't know what they want. I, 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 I if they want, you know, Honey, I, I will sleep with them or anything. I, this I, guy this doesn't. Is too much. No, honey, this guy is a fucking psycho. I have done it for money before. This is not different. Yes, consensually, this is different. You don't know this fucking guy. How has this guy been vetted by anybody? I don't think so. We don't even know his fucking name. I, just from my personal experience, I don't trust this guy. I don't think that you should either. I don't think that anybody should. I don't think he should trust himself, to be honest. Okay, so what you're saying is, I, I, I just don't understand what's the, what's the plan. How are you gonna, how are you gonna get him? All right, so we you know... take me away so he cannot hear me. And right. Then... We're going to talk more in depth away, and then we are going to go check out the hotel. Not his hotel room, but the hotel. I'm gonna see if I can get into the guest book. I'm gonna see if I can get into their cameras and all that stuff just to see if we know who it is and if we can find them and then if we can steal the data and maybe shoot them if you like she doesn't say that last part out loud that was that was entire <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i <laughs> That feeling when you remember you're being recorded. When... If he's recording me, I, I don't get it. If I have something in me that you refuse to take out, when is not he refused, hear? Because not he, when, when he hears no. this, he... It's, it's over. When... You know what I mean? This is being recorded. When is he going to be able to listen to it? Are you going to stop him before he can listen? Because if you can stop him before he can listen to anything, then what, what, what's the point of taking me away? You know what I mean? Where Where are Winchester and Lucas, like, in relation to me right now? Uh, right feedback. now, just to speed things up, Lucas has finished uh, doing the forgery. Yeah. All right. All right. And Just you guys, put the camera uh, again. Yeah, the uh, Let, let's say, let's say you're all on the on the car, uh, away from yeah. data pools, yeah. enough and waiting for the nomads. But you're all you're all together, unless you want to yeah. leave someone behind. Okay, so so we are camera. we are waiting for the nomads. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you are you gonna leave someone for the camera thing or? I think yeah, that we should leave that. Dice because I need Winchester and Lucas. Actually, well, I need somebody here too. So, like, you should I, you should either take Lucas or Winchester. I need both of them at least right now. 
Why, why do you At least this? immediately, but I will not need both of them by the time that we leave, assuming my idea works. I just need... I uh, need... Okay, I as need long as it's... Winchester to, to locate the bug, and I need Lucas to scrub it without, like, tipping anybody off. Oh, yeah, well, we could do that right where we're at. Exactly. All right. That's well, what I'm saying. I just need Winchester and Lucas, both of them, right now. Before we leave, okay. to scrub that. All right, so you're in the car with Richard and Luca. Dice is keeping an eye on the tree. Yep. <laughs> keeping an eye on the tree. And uh, <laughs> one of you is going to stay. But all right. For now, in the car, what's the plan? Uh, what's Winchester the needs to find the bug. Lucas needs to access it. Colette? Okay. You trust uh, your do you have? Do you have um, your tools with you? This I is, always. Uh, you Even if you didn't, I have two med tech bags. <laughs> okay. Um, this should ideally you be in like a surgical room and put this person. I'm not yeah, asking no, him no, to no, take no, it out. Power. I'm asking uh, him to look for it. Locate. Yeah, yeah I'm just the, saying. So because you have to do it in not ideal conditions and you have to be extra careful not to. I don't know damage Cut or out. Like, yeah it's gonna be a little bit harder than usual i'm gonna say and uh, if you give me a what it would be paramedics perhaps uh, i would put it at or, cyberware or, or do you have a surgery uh there is a surgery cybernetics and uh, surgery cybertech and paramedic skill as well as first aid. Is, tell, tell, tell me which one do you want to use? And I, I think one of them will be fine. Um, Envy would like to use her ten in cybertech as to work as a nurse for Winchester, make things easier. Right. Roll, roll, roll that. If you pass uh, fourteen, you can help. I will give him a plus one. Uh, never mind. <laughs> all right. I need it. Um, all right, eighteen. Yeah. Uh, so what you can see is that. Um, Someone has uh, the her interface spot plugs are like not not right in the back of her head, but like to the side, beneath her. Um, she she doesn't have any hair actually. She's 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 bald, but she wears like a a wig. No. Um, uh, like cords and shit and shit. It looks like you know, in, like, uh, Victor. You know Freezer from Dragon Ball set? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like that. It's like a metallic cap. <laughs> like her okay, okay. That's, that's yeah. attached to it. And that compartment opens up. And you can see uh, interface plugs. And someone has um, kind of a put in... Uh, how can I explain this? Is um, it just like a malware chip? No, it's like on top of the interface plugs, there they have been there's another interface plugs that fit into it. So it's like it's bridging the cables, it's bridging the interface plug. And like uh, attached to it. Like uh, one of those uh, USB Oh, a grasshopper. Yeah. It's been forever since I've seen one of these. Something something like that. Uh, so, basically, what you can infer from that is that... Um, is the moment that she connects uh, um, cables to it where... when the data transfer will happen. Uh, but uh, Luca... So she has to be connected for information to get out? It's not just like a wireless reception? That's right. That's right. Okay, so it's not being sent out now, then? Like, uh, even if they do... Even... Like, I can pull this out literally right now. Like, but it's you could, just... You, you it's could, a charred you could, virus. You could pull it out? Uh... What you don't know is if that is actually connected somehow to her 
neural network or her chips because this, yeah, this has to be stored link. somewhere. Uh, but you don't know where is it storing it. So Lucas, can you roll me a uh, security? Security? Uh, tech, yeah. Yeah, let's Wait, see. so the medical guy doesn't know whether or not pulling it out would kill her? <laughs> no, it, 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 definitely, it definitely won't kill her. What you know is that in you pull it out, but you don't know where these things are being recorded. So yeah, I so, guess. Okay, so I, I'll I'll try to pinpoint that right. Where are they stored? I think. Yeah, you're basically kind of tracking where is this thing transmitting or or or, okay. or what. Just just to be sure, I'm not inter. I'm in. I'm not interfacing yet with uh, with Colette or am I? You cannot interface with the oh, okay. cyberware, so it's just okay. security tech. Okay. You just have some cables, you take some, some interplow. Hey! <laughs> nice. Okay. Yes. So, um, so what, do, what do I find? <laughs> so she has, uh, and she confirms this, she has uh, like four memory chips that she has um, on her all the time. And uh, it's going to a particular one, like the chip socket number three. Uh, has been uh, it, it's been co-opted it's it's yeah. been it's been bugged. <laughs> all right so yeah it will be as easy as um, which means you can just take out the chip and then delete the data and then put it back well you could, you, we you could wipe out the chip completely like down to the firmware and install something else to like make sure everything gets install wiped out. some cyberware malware or yeah, cyberware uh, countermeasures or even some black guys or something for people if someone wants to pull it out just, they just get killed ah <laughs> oh, that's an idea does dice well, know any they're, not, does they're dice... not gonna be interfacing with that so that's that's not gonna happen uh, no. <laughs> so, so it's just it seems so far to just be a short virus you just pull it out and that's it yeah it's basically a bug uh, it's a bug that is it was installing her interface and so somehow basically when she, they she probably got hacked her computer agent. sorry so, so if she got home to her computer and then plugged in and was searching something up it would just transfer the data yes. to computer and then it would transfer From it out number three Exactly. It itself can't transfer anywhere can't else. How did That's the right. How did the chip get onto her? She already had it. Uh, yeah, but how did it? Yeah. But how did yeah, it? How did it get corrupted to the point where this is transmitting data to someplace Colette, else? Colette, have you met anybody in the past week or so that like? I don't know, you had a memory skip afterwards, or like, you shook their hand and it hurt your wrist for some reason? Mm -hmm. Or something like uh, that? I mean, on Wednesday I had a, a modeling gig, it was a fashion show, and I had to try so many different things, there was just so many people touching me in the, in the back, backstage. I was putting on gigs, putting on makeup. Uh, I and to be honest, I was also really high. So, dear, I understand, honey. Do you at least remember where that fashion show was? Yeah, it's, she gives you like a a, a standard. Um, All right. Uh, place where in and for who? In in, 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 a, in a corporate center, it was. Um, Like Rockland. Rockland does a lot of like fashionable cyberware. I could see. Yeah, we'll, we'll, call, we'll call it Rockland. It was like on one of those shopping centers um, where they were just showcasing different clothes, and a lot of people went to see, take photos, and they were just kind of uh, catwalking in the shopping center. So in the shopping center, they they had like a backstage room where all the models were getting changed and trying on things and stuff. All right. Uh, so it's it was, it was um, so it wasn't just one company that hired it. It was a lot of different shops 
uh, showcasing the products in the mall as part but of like a fashion Yeah, week. nonetheless, it'll be, it'll have to have been, like, if it was somebody backstage, either security was negligent or it was somebody who was employed by the fashion show itself. Either way, there's too many. There's too many people to like try to track down for that. We we got. We should move ahead. Yeah, plus it's a list easy of to names is worth a lot. If we find any of those names in the guest list of the Raven of the Raven Hotel, we'll know exactly who we're looking for. Especially if it's on the guest list for the room in question. Um, Lucas. Okay, yeah. Okay. So what are you gonna do with this? Uh, so is the interface plugs have been tampered with and whatever that is recording is going to a chip that is also being tampered with. What are you gonna do with that? Uh, uh, well, um, let me see. Uh, I mean, if it's a software issue, I could try to wipe out the, the faulty software, like the, the virus that Trojan that they put there, but um, I don't know if like uh, Colette would have some side effects from that, or if I just or if it's just the memory chip, just let's just pull pull it out and uh, and uh, and yeah, just, we we can just like uh, do it safely. But if it's her interface blocks like they've been tampered and it's a software issue, I mean. I don't know what side of it. Yeah. yeah, if it's her hardware and I tampered, tamper with it, I could like do something bad to her by accident. Or I don't know if there's a kill switch in her hardware, like a uh, anti-tamper software, like the guy that put it there. No, Maybe when, when you're checking the, the security, it seems pretty simple, like, for, uh, uh, for some sort of kill switch or something, she will have to have been like under, under surgery. Under the knife, uh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I could try to, to try to, to wipe out the virus, the, the tamper to like, at least put it like in, All back right. to I'm normal. I'm gonna ask yeah. you this question. Uh, so you take out the chip. Hmm? Okay. You know, do you have a chip socket yourself or you're gonna put it into your cyber deck? Uh, I could wipe it. I could put it into my cyber deck because I don't have a chip socket myself. Like on not the to mention uh, you're stop him less likely to that. get. You, All right, stop him. You want to just throw that out the window and ignore it? Uh, yeah. Like, maybe well, yeah. If it's just a chip, yeah, we could just like. Yeah, it's I mean, not doing anything. I mean, you could you we could should eat it, just you could, it, you we could toss could. it in a microwave. Yeah, don't just throw it out the window. Somebody's gonna find that and probably end up finding another risque thing for poor Colette here. <laughs> yeah, um, so so just, hmm, I, yeah. I get it. You I get it. It's hard out here your, being a hoe. With your knowledge, Lucas, you can also you know that you know every programmer, every netrunner has a signature, and if this was tampered with, there is a chance that you can find information about who put it there. Sweet. Uh, but you also know that there is yeah. a risk of uh, of what of putting it in your cyber deck. You don't know. It's it's yeah, you're you right, you're to right. take that risk or not. Uh, uh, I mean, we we could. I mean, I don't want to fry my cyber deck. I mean, I'm poor, uh, <laughs> so. Um, Maybe we we could like hold on to it for a while until we get some equipment to put in, and then safely wipe it out. That's that's a good idea. Oh no! I just like need. Ah, uh, freelance. Oof. Yeah. Um. So they 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 opened up a job for people to come and and help. There was very little betting process. Um. You could potentially go to the place, hack into it, and get a list of exactly who applied. That is an option. Um. 
We just need but, any number of names. As long as it fits the as long as it fits the Raven Hotel guest book for one oh three. I mean on Which the we laptop, haven't, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna find that list. Uh yeah, we have to actually get on, to on the get server. List for it. Um all right. What are you going to take her away? What's happening? The nomads have arrived and they're gonna take her. Right. Um so. Envy still has some details to collect, so she's going to go with Colette. Okay. Who else is gonna go with her? I'm staying here for the for the There's uh, two <laughs> there's two nomads here. I feel safe if we end up getting jumped somehow. So yeah, are we... I, I would say you're probably not going to be worried about the stalker out here. I would say it's the scavs, which is why I thought, you know, a nomad group would be nice. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, Dice is going to sit on the on the camera, and if it takes too long, go to the hotel. <laughs> uh, how long maybe, is too long? Maybe we could, we, if MB, like, uh, doesn't have a problem with staying with the nomads, maybe we could go back to Dice and MB just text us. Uh, any, yeah, I can get you data. Like... Yeah, anything, any, anything that comes up and... We can work on that list of uh, employees or something like that. Gotcha. Because, like, since the bug is taken out, we can't really trigger it to get the guy to come over, can we? Mm. Unless you did some techno wizardry on, like, uh, his on that signal thing. <laughs> Make yourself the target. That'd be funny. <laughs> could we could we do that <laughs> go to, like uh i don't know tamper with the chip to make it seem like uh, like we are colette or something like that to call the guy to like tip 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 the guy off for him to come to us yeah could it be done that way colette's like yeah. far away we still jump the guy go yeah back, get the we info just beat the shit out of him <laughs> out of him to get <laughs> yeah. the info yeah I mean, I can. So, we could try to like so do some techno sorcery. Let me see if I get it. So you want to kind of replicate her interface so that when you plug in, it shows him that it's yeah. Colette instead of you. Yeah. Uh, so he will access. But basically, what the chip does, you will have to kind of fabricate uh, what he's gonna get. Um, yeah, that sounds like a lot of brain dance who do. You 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 can probably do it. It's just gonna take you like the whole night. Mm. Oh jeez. Mm. Yeah. If and so basically yeah, you just want to transfer that bug into one of you, basically. Uh, safely. You you can definitely do that. It's just gonna take I'm, you. I'm going to say don't transfer the bug into dice because I need him now for my plan. Because I'm looking, I'm looking at uh, the operator ranks and specifically at contacts and clients, and I'm thinking, hmm, at rank, th oh. Dice is rank five, isn't he? Yeah, it's crazy. You, dude. you would be able to contact the people who are running that show to ask them for that list. And once again, if need be, Envy's pay is or Envy's payout is on the table for this job as a bargaining chip. Okay. For whatever you need. If we're if we're doing that, that means you're going with Colette with the nomads and then we're going straight to the hotel then. Cause there's no point in waiting if the guy's not getting tipped off. Yeah. Uh um, I, 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 I agree would, with that. Yeah. Make sure. Uh, make sure that you contact the per the people who were running it, who were running that fashion show first. Okay. And then go to the hotel, try to get the guest book, and match a name. Okay, I gotcha. Can we do that, GM? Do I have to, like, roll something? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm just, um... 
Colette is about to get a message on her burner phone. Oh. I'm gonna With what on the burner? <laughs> uh, I just want to shoot someone. <laughs> hey, whoever's got the bug in right now should be the one to pick that message up. When no, I, no, I, no, kept, no. I kept the chip with, with me. Right. <laughs> So why would you? No, no, never mind. He, she has the phone off and the burner phone. There's no reason for him to have that number yet. No, never All mind. All right. My bad. Okay, so dice, you're calling. Uh, I'm calling the company who uh, who did the fashion show to get uh, the freelance company to get a list of the employees that were in the back on Wednesday. Okay, one second. So in, in the meantime, um, Winchester and I are, we're, we are uh, meeting up in the, at the hotel or at the park, Dice? Uh, we're gonna use, we're gonna use Manny to drive to the, we're gonna use Manny to drive to the hotel. Ah, okay, okay. So technically, we are in route to pick you up and then go to the hotel. There's a All right. So Colette has gone to MB for the night. Mm -hmm. uh, Winchester, Lucas, and Dice are still at the park for now. Dice, you're calling and uh, the office. Uh, you reach uh, some after hours uh, number. Uh, through your contacts, uh, you know who who to. To call it's not it's not that late. Um, yeah, like uh, yes, this is uh, Samantha. Uh, how can I help you? Hi, Samantha. How are you doing tonight? Uh, yeah, well, we we just closed a few hours ago. Uh, but you know, we are you one of our international clients? Are you in another time zone? Uh, no, uh, I'm a friend of Calvin's. Um, we. Like okay. I needed, I needed to get a um, a list of who worked on Wednesday's show. I know you used, uh, I know you used freelancers, but uh, someone's like complaining about like their tax or whatever. So I'm gonna need to get their, to get everybody's info. Uh, roll me uh, persuasion. Persuasion. <laughs> okay. Like someone's complaining about the tax for, or the payment, one of the freelancers. Yeah, basically. But, uh, who 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 are you? I'm uh, are you? I'm with payroll from uh, the studio. Okay, well, uh, shouldn't you be uh, talking to payroll itself? Why are you calling us? Can I put some of my luck into his role? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in in. <laughs> In the vicinity, yeah. yeah. Can I can I put can my I, own luck into this role? Are you are you are you are you are you on payroll? But if you're on payroll, don't you have the list? That's the point. We lost it. Someone someone over here like uh, shredded it, and we need to get that list back. <laughs> like you're really you're really gonna save my ass here. This is acting. Big old. It's like, duh, I wouldn't call you for no fucking reason. <laughs> ah, okay, pull an uh, envy here. Hang on. Should you have it? Well, why am I, I talking it's to not you? Great. Okay. She's like, ah, it's people in payroll are fucking unbelievable. Uh, let, me, let me just check real quick, see if we have that on our system. Mm. Um, wow, I, I cannot seem to find it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we have it. Can uh, I put some of my luck into that? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Like, what, what, you know what, why don't you, why don't you come, uh, why don't you come to the office and, and grab it yourself? Uh, it's just, it's just me here. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some dinner, but, uh, if, if you're here within an hour, I'll, you can just grab it yourself. 
Oh, Dax sweet. is in a suit. He'll blend right in. <laughs> and he's he's got that operator rank five grease. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna bring you. A, I'm gonna bring you a taco from this place I know. <laughs> on the house, just oh, for helping me from out. From chuchas? From oh chuchas, yeah. They're so they're so good. I know, so right? Thank you. Thank you. What, you what know what? I'll bring. I'll bring you two. I, I don't think. I don't think we've met. Oh, my name is my name is Ben. Ben. Mm -hmm. Aw, yeah. using your real name like a good boy. <laughs> okay, Ben. Well, um, I will see you soon then. All right. <laughs> see you soon. All right. Um. Okay, guys, how did it went? How did it went? Are we getting the list? <laughs> yeah, okay. let's say that uh, just just to move things along, uh, <laughs> you meet her, you share some tacos, <laughs> you grab you grab you grab the list, and um, she doesn't suspect uh, suspect anything. Um, now you guys are gonna have to talk your way into getting in the, the guest time. <laughs> and, and let's say that took let's say an hour or two. Uh, so you have a list of all the um, all the freelancers that applied, uh, and, and Lucas and Winchester. What are you doing in the meantime? Were you trying to? Are you trying to work out how to replicate the interface the, interface plug thing? That's some, so that that's some wizard shit. I don't do that. Uh, I'm gonna take the list from. Uh, Dice once he has it, and I'll I'll start just double checking some stuff with the um, public NCPD database of like just weirdos, sex offenders, stuff like that. So loud, right. uh, can you roll me library. Um, library search? Sure thing. I use it so often. Why is it not on my hotbar? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's a very good point. Like, between sessions, I need to put acting on my hotbar. And then it's another right. two from the agent, but not much better. Okay. Uh, yeah, with that role, let's say there was... Um, I'm gonna use the forbidden dice. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, the 18. forbidden dice is a d20. <laughs> there was... Uh, <laughs> 18 people on the list, and you managed to discard, like, nine of them with that live research, like, that they check out, uh, and they seem to have... I mean, what what exactly are you looking for? To see if there's any criminals or anything? Uh, oh. Just... Hmm. Let's we're say... The, like, 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 if someone gets a... Someone gets in a fender bender. I, I don't give a shit. I'm looking for like uh, sex offender, sex offender, like sex basically offender, sex offender stalker. registry or uh, like aggravated assault. Stalkers. Okay. Stalking yeah, is like a crime. Real crime shit. <laughs> um. There is. No one that really rings like uh, a bell. Um, what you can tell is that uh, you can safely assume that there's about nine people that are um, that are definitely not suspicious. Like that, you 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 can be pretty sure that okay, yeah, this person is uh, it has, it has a track record. It's 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 just very easy to find. If it was someone that was trying to hide their identity, that it, it won't be them. So there's only nine people yeah. left. Out of them, you have uh, about... Yeah, that's... That's it. I will... Should I give you a list? Hang on. Okay. The other nine aren't just criminals, they're just harder to find online, right? Yeah, there's... Out of the nine, there's four that have some, like makeup experience and they show up in like as like credited as like you know makeup for this um, tv series or something and there's four that just give you absolutely no result Oops. all right out of those four can we uh, cross reference to see if any of them know any uh net running or tech expertise who's doing that 
I mean, I don't know. Who, who, who oh, guys? Okay. Yeah. So let's say you're working on it together, um, Winchester and, and Dice. So you're sitting down, going through the list. Um, Winchester is checking for the names. You go down to kind of nine, let's say eight. Four of them have had some previous experience, and four, there is no record of it. What do you want to do with those uh, dice? With the remaining four, I want to cross-reference to see if they have any... Um uh, any network, any net running or, um, or tech ex expertise. Like they went to DeVry for technical institute or something. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Do me, um, a leverage check. Well. Right. Library search with an extra two. My two was already added onto that. So it's 18. All right. Um, you, you start checking up names and digging a little bit deeper. Uh, you uh, call MV. She gives you some contacts from like some people that appear in certain um, productions. Uh, you call their, like the centrals and ask for some reference and you end up with um, four names that are absolutely nothing but uh, on the list it also um, it also specified uh, for some reason it is specified uh, their their occupation and their sex and the only four people that you cannot find anything on it are all female and uh, these are the names um, I'm over here a fucking mastermind with my heart in the game <laughs> I'm proud of myself for hatching up this plan. And you know, if the name on the guest list is A, obvious, uh, if it's obviously a pseudonym, that's going to set us back. But if it's different from the names that we have, but it's not obviously a pseudonym, that's still a lead. Yeah, but even if it's a pseudonym, if someone had like net running experience or something like that, Maybe we could try to crack the like the net running signature or something like people like to give out like like how Bansky just signs his stuff like Bansky. Like uh, I could try to do that. That's fair. This guy could style himself All right. as some So yeah, you're down you're down to those four names. Okay. Um I put on the chat. And it is now let's say eleven PM. Um Lucas, what are you trying to do again? Uh, trying to see if I can find like a net running signature or, or something on the chip. All right. Maybe I don't uh, know with crypto cryptography. Maybe. Uh, let's roll me a, just a tech. Just basically what you did is kind of isolate your deck. Uh, kind of like create like a temporary terminal where you plug, uh -huh. plug in the chip so that it's isolated from your deck so it's safely uh -huh. uh, so roll me a security tech to see how how, how good that, that went okay let's see 13 all right um you're sure that there was a way of doing it without spending anything but what you end up doing was uh, purchasing uh, empty memory chip and transfer it to it so that you knew that only data was transferred uh, and that will put you down for uh, uh, 50 euro bucks uh, <laughs> but, but, but you get the information uh, there and yeah you, when you see it's like a whole bunch of audio files uh, oh they are which is basically everything from 
from the last two days is is a massive, massive, massive file. It's a little bit scrambled. Uh, when are, you, are, you guys, are you guys? Are you guys using cryptography? Are you guys using your agents to keep NV in the loop on this? We, we, we're gonna assume so, yeah. Yeah, we're we're assuming we're texting in the group chat. <laughs> She's telling you right now to delete everything as soon as you get what you need. Okay. I will do I will do that. Like let's just wipe this chip clean. But first, um yeah, what what were were you saying, Gold? Like yeah, what go that? with the cryptography, cryptography to see if you yeah. can see some sort of pattern or find yeah, some yeah, signature totally. or something in the code. Okay, um, let's see. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Um I have a high cryptography base. <laughs> I have 13 total cryptography. Hang on. Mm. Let me just do techno wizard stuff, like <laughs> cooking an al a quick algorithm to find some patterns. <laughs> I see that. The, the meme. Nice. Uh, you find this. You find... Uh, In some of the files, he must have, or they must have, uh, they must have forgotten. Uh, and there is like a leftover ID. Uh, <laughs> okay. Like an ad no, like an identifier, and the yeah. identifier is this. Jazz lit. Jazz lit. Oh my god. Okay. So wait, I text MB. A A MB. Colette talked about someone named Jazz, right? Miles Armstrong. Uh, I'm going to corroborate that with her. Yeah, because I have some dumb uh, amateur net runner here that is called Jazz One Three Three Seven Jazz Lead. Can we can we uh, text Envy like the picture of Miles Armstrong? Wait, what? <laughs> Want to text Envy the picture of Miles Armstrong and have her uh, show it to collect to see if she recognizes him. Uh, oh, we could do that, I think. Oh, okay, one second. Let me find the picture. Uh, uh, Envy is first going to uh, corroborate yeah, with, corroborate uh, the, the jazz. with Colette just to make sure that uh, Jazz is a name that she remembers. She yes. she does remember jazz. She says that. Um, uh, how did how did he seem? How did he treat you? I don't think I've met him, uh, but I don't think it's a him. I think jazz is a woman. Oh, oh cool. Oh. Okay, uh, okay. She's 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 just a fan, but I I remember her name from. You, you guys did, didn't have it in your mind that it could be a woman stalker? Texas. No, I did, but like when, when you said... <laughs> when he said jazz... I'm going, to, first people, off, wait, I am going to fully admit that, yes, I was assuming the uh, stalker's gender. Secondly, I had good reason to because cis men are awful sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I wanted to pipe up earlier whenever it was like, okay, so those last four names, they're all women. And I was like, okay. And then nobody said anything. I was like, yeah, those look. could still be suspects. <laughs> Everybody just moved on. Yeah, we, like, okay, I'm no, just like, yeah. just like a guy. <laughs> I didn't say anything because I was like, oh, of course, it could be a woman. Well, it, it did is, is, Mon my mind. <laughs> is Munger and Steel... Uh, well, can we just uh, send her like the pictures of Munger yeah, and I'm, Steel? I'm, I'm, I'm sending uh, you the photo. Sweet. Because like Munger, Munger sounds like a jazz name too. I went with Armstrong only because of Louis Armstrong. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what totally. I mean? And I never heard of yeah, Steel, yeah, but Munger is. sounds like some old-timey jazz person or contemporary I would, jazz I would also <laughs> like to say that uh, Facebook probably doesn't exist in, in uh, Cyberpunk, but Envy is going to block him on Facebook and only Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is... 
Oh, whoa, why is this not working? One second, I'm trying to find the freaking photo. Jesse is playing. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna put it on, on Discord, on the game room tree. Oh, okay. But yeah, when you send the photo of Miles Armstrong. Probably your followers, it's probably opinion? best your followers don't see the, the guy who brutally shot a guard in the point blank range <laughs> face strolling through your right. social that media. Is, <laughs> that is her, just lead and uh, Toledo that recognized her. She was one of the persons that was uh, doing her makeup on the event. Okay, so we know who now. Okay, we have a face now and we a name. But now we just have to find out where she lives, uh, find out if she has any hideouts, and then blow up all of her data. Or well, steal her data. We know where she's going to be. We do know where she's going to be. But we specifically need to get her shit, not her. Because otherwise that shit could get released. Yeah, I know. But, um... When you are out in the in the badlands, a colleague asks you if uh, this place is safe, like it's not being intercepted or anything. If there is somebody coming to intercept us, oh, do you mean like communications or like yeah. physically? Okay, communications. communications. Um, I mean, Doc says that it only transmits whenever you get on the net, so just. Stay off of your phone for a bit. I'll keep you in touch. Is there anything that you would like for me to look up for you? <laughs> no, no, I just need to... <laughs> yes. I, I am my actually... I need to check my agent. <laughs> I, 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 had you can, I canceled this gig you on can the wait weekend. And, you can wait until and the I, morning. I have... There's just something I have to do. What you need to do, Colette, is wait until the morning. We're almost done. But why? So I cannot make a call? Am I? Are you? I'm, I'm... I, if you need to make a call, you can use my agent for that. Okay, well, um, yeah, she takes your phone and she's like, goes out of the station and... Uh, Envy is going to follow behind Rocket Launcher on her shoulder, just sort of looking around. She turns around and she's like, I, I would appreciate some privacy. Why would she? I just don't want you to, to get, like, hurt or taken. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll look, keep some I, distance. I don't see, there is no buildings, like, we think in 10 miles of us. Where are people going to come out of nowhere? I just need to make a fucking phone call, just... Got me some black. <laughs> Man. Okay. She she Honey, she flipped the switch. <laughs> do you, do you see the guns that the nomads have on their cars? Yeah, I I know. You say I'm. If you 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 told me I'm safe, so I just need to pull. You're safe someone. with us. You can't be going away right now. Just so like, you have to listen to my conversations. No, I don't have to listen, to call. honey. I will literally, like, shove dirt in my ears if it makes you feel better. I just want eyes around you. I just need to be alone for a moment. That's all I want. I need some space. Can I have that? Oh, my God. Is this like a... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and I watch from afar, from very really, far away. Really about to say cat fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, it's making sense, man. I'm wondering if Envy this is, is Envy is not about to f to fight Colette. She just wants to make sure that she's safe. I'm wondering if uh, this whole thing was set up by her to get away from her um, her agent freely. If that's the case, Envy's for it. I mean, like, I hope she's not trying to call. Um, Watch or <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, she makes um. She makes a call. You cannot hear unless you're trying actively to over. I am not trying to hear her. Okay. I'm just trying to see her. Yeah, she just. Yeah, roll me a hearing perception. All right. 
Uh, I'm not even. I'm not even going to make the perception check. I just want to make sure that nobody's rolling up on her. No, it, there's no one around. There's, you're so far away. It's like it, it's fine. Uh, no, whatever she's whoever she's talking to, she doesn't seem to be agitated. Uh, that's all. She comes back, all gives right. you the phone, and thanks you. Uh, she's. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I was rude. I just I. This is too much. I, I, I still don't know. Um, am I gonna have to go tomorrow? Am I gonna have to? Is it, is it jazz? Is it hair? I. Can't believe she was just touching me all day. She was just. I, I, I don't know if now I'm making it up or not, but she was a little bit handsy. All right. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. Repeat what? what I, I, repeat what she said. Uh, she wasn't what? I'm not sure if I'm making it up now, but now that I see a photo, yeah, she was doing my hair the whole day, and she was a little bit handsy. She was a little bit rude, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I should I just? She, she didn't seem that violent, you know. She seemed nice. Considering uh, that second message, honey, I'm, I i don't trust this lady as look, far as I what, can see what, her in front of my face if, right if now she when has, she's in town. She, if she has my files, I, if this, is too, this is too much trouble. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Uh, but why can't I just, you know, it's, it's my body, it's my decision. Why can't I just go and be with her it's just one night and then my info is gonna be safe i mean right. and if not then then you guys can do what you guys can do it but why why risk i just if you don't know what's okay. in there it's it, it cannot go out it, it just cannot i i I want to Wrong. make sure that you're not being coerced into something is all, honey. I'm not here to do what Armando asked me to do. I don't care if I don't get paid. I'm... I, I, I just want to make sure that what you want is what's happening, and I... Like... You know? Like, I, I want to make sure that you actually want what's happening. I'm not sure how how better to explain that. I'm sorry, honey. No, that was nice. Roll me a uh, conversation. Just like, look, the files. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a sex tape. I just told Armando because I didn't want him to know the truth. It's, it's just something personal. It's something that. I, I, I haven't always looked like this, and I am, ooh, are you back? Are you here? Yeah, I cut out for a sec. I'm sorry. What was the last thing you hear? Um, uh, it was just after my roll. Oh, okay. She was like, so. Um, oh shit, what did I say? Uh, she didn't always look that. like this. Look, look yeah. I, I lied. I lied to Armando. And th those files, those files that Jazz has, they, they, they are not sex. They, there's, there's nothing. I just told him that because I knew. He, 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 I didn't want him to ask anything else. It's just something that's very personal for me. And I. Just cannot afford. I cannot afford it to be out there. It's. I. I'm not. I wasn't always like this. I, I didn't always look like like I like the way I look like now. I. Well, of course, my hair I, didn't I, use to change color. No, you don't. It's it's not the same. Uh, there's there's people. That have been looking for me, for the past five years since I became. Colette and those files, they will, they will expose that. They, they will expose who I was. And if they find me, you're gonna need more than two nomads to stop them from getting to me. 
and I, I just don't want to go back to that life. And she she just hugs you and she starts crying and she's like, I don't know what to do. Please, I'll I'll do anything, but I cannot I cannot go back. I cannot go back to to them. And she just cried. Envy is just kind of like speechless, spacing out with a kind of like like nervous look on her face <laughs> past Colette because she's realizing this is probably a little bit uh, a little bit more than just a sex scandal here. Ooh. But like nonetheless in the back of Envy's head is that thought of I can't just let this job lie. I need to see this through. <laughs> All right. I'm going to um, text Envy, like, oh, I just realized this. You were surprised earlier. Did you get sex tapes leaked? Like, just in the most brutal, like, frontal way possible. Just no tax, rude. <laughs> and then just <laughs> immediately puts his phone in his pocket, just... Looking around. Uh, Envy's going to respond, fuck off. <laughs> uh, Winchester's right. actually heartfelt hurt. <laughs> well, he could ask more sensitive <laughs> questions. <laughs> he has no perspective of sensitivity. <laughs> okay, so just to. Um, are we going on time? Do we have like one more hour, I think? Mm -hmm. Um. If the hour, if the limit is five hours, then we have uh, one and three quarter hours. So. Okay. Okay. Cool. So I'm just trying not to end up without um, without finishing the thing. Uh, it with went, a closure. Yeah. Yeah, with a closure because uh, it went way longer than I expected. But anyway, all right. So you have, you know, who this person is. Uh, and we knows what she knows. Uh, um, let's talk about a, a, a plan. Um, okay. Um, so yep. we we know that this girl is going to be tomorrow at the at the place, right? And and uh, and Colette's already saved. Let's just like uh, I think we could. Colette just... is safe, but the data is not. I say. Uh, I said we go we go to the hotel now, sit on it, um, and then yeah. do surveillance to see if the chick shows up. When she shows up, the we job go in. specifically said to come alone. We need to find her residence, not her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the the big okay. um, is there a way we can like find where Jazz lives, like social media or something like that? Okay. Um, um, can so one of you roll me a library search pro maybe a, yeah, because we're gonna try yes, why don't the we aliases, all roll library try, search. Um, I'll what use criminology because she's a criminal. Library. <laughs> 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 All right, um, so trying to look for all the al aliases and everything, uh, you, MB, MB and Liquid come across uh, a fairly new forum post on one of the unknown um, fan site of... Uh, Colette. Of Colette, that is signed by Jasly. Mm. Can, can I just uh, break in and ask a question real quick? Since we got the payroll data, don't they have to have their address on there? Uh, yeah, but it's um, it's pretty evident that she used right. that that is that is fake. She could not care less about getting paid. Ah, uh, gotcha. it's one two three Main Street. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
And they just accepted that without any problem. Just like, yeah, that sounds legit. A PayPal address, you know, <laughs> just send it here. This is what you find. Oh, I can actually share this chat place. Okay. You find this in a message board. Uh, it's signed by Jazz. Uh, and it's oh, is that a code. very recent post? Like from 1 a.m. I'm gonna say that it's like 2 a.m. now, 3 a.m. when you guys are. So basically, like, Jazz is caught on that we are separating her and now this. So she's at gotcha. the hotel right now. I, I cannot make conclusions for you, but that's the message that you find on the net. Uh, you can assume that he's been maybe trying to contact her on her agent, but since he couldn't, then he's trying this. Oh, yeah, on top of it, he will say, where are you? Uh, where are you? Are you okay? I can't find you. She says, I am waiting for you. Does that mean that they're at the hotel? Once again, we need the residents, not the not the lady. I mean, but if she's saying I'm waiting for you, she might be at the at the hotel and then we can just punch her and have her take us to the resident, uh, to her residence, and then I wipe out all her data. Yeah, we need the lady, <laughs> we need the lady to get to the data. All right, you guys do you. Uh, Envy does not trust that course of action. <laughs> and she makes that very plain in the group chat. All right, what do you, what, what, what are you guys gonna do? I say we go to the to to the hotel, like to go with Dice's idea of going to to the hotel and see if she if she has appeared there. And we're we're trying to capture her alive, so uh, <laughs> let's yeah, so let, let, let's not let's not flatline her. Okay, so Winchester just shoot her in the kneecaps. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was my plan. Shoot her in the kneecaps. She won't right, die so on my watch. Are you going now, like at two a.m. to this motel? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna move you there. Uh, and you guys see? Uh, real quick, Envy has a question for Colette, and that yep. question is: What do you think Jazz means by? make all the past go away. Well, persuasion. <laughs> that was a good That's question. A very, very personal question. Okay, okay. How much luck do I need to put into that? <laughs> Five. I have eight. Five? Done. Yeah. I have three luck oh left. God. I'm back on par with other people now. <laughs> All right. Um, so did you upgrade your, you. your living situation? <laughs> yes, I did. Basically, I live in a that night, apartment. she, you know, after her breakdown, you come back and you start talking to her, and she just completely opens up to you and tells you like the truth. Hmm? All right. When he grew up in Haiti, he was chosen by a cult of um, voodoo guys to be the priest of this cult. Hmm? He was sent to Night City to study uh, on how to become this. They have a lot of money. Uh, as soon as he had access to money and he realized the cult was all bullshit, he ran away use the money that he could steal to change and he became Colette. Aw, Colette's trans. <laughs> That's uh, sweet. They've been looking for him in Night City like crazy, only they actually killed the Reaper dog that did the operation. Um, which was like her only friend. Uh, so they know that they know that she looks different from what it is now. The videos that she has, it's um, or the files, 
are like transcripts of the medical changes that she went through, the medication that she takes. But also there is some photographs of her of his childhood, I guess. Um, and uh, there is. Um, All right, because you seem to be stumbling a bit. Here's a question for you: How does Colette identify now? As, as she. As a girl. All right. So th you should probably be con be continuing to use. She. Feminine pronouns. Harry, you anything the pocket? Okay, yeah. Thank you for thank you for clarifying that. So yeah, she has photos of her childhood. Uh, she has um, um, videos of her because she still follows the religion. It's just not the cult one. Uh, she fall. She still has videos of her performing, like in her apartment, uh, because she still follows her, like you know, her roots. Uh, she just doesn't want to be found by this cult. All right. So. Uh, what does that, what does that have to do with jazz? Jazz got it. Does you jazz is a member the... of the cult. Uh, she, it, this is very unlikely because if he was, then she wouldn't be, they would have got her. Uh, she thinks it's just a coincidence, perhaps. Uh, it's just an, a stalker, he... She um, just was probably obsessed with her over message boards for, for years, find a way to get close to her and figure out um, who she was. And All right, now, so the breakdown that I got was about the info, not about the, not about the stalker. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Great. So we... We arrive at the hotel, right? What can we do here? Okay. Um, on the hotel, uh, it's 2 a.m. Uh, when by the by, Envy's in... keeping this shit to herself. Uh, the only thing that she is telling the uh, away team is that you're not looking for a sex tape. You're looking for medical documents. End of message. All right. Oh, Roger that. Shoot to kill. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you guys want to um, drop your tokens here? Um, okay. Uh, where, where do you want us to place them? Uh, just by the entrance. Fine. Uh, so, as you arrive super late, uh, there is just local security uh, there. Uh, they ask you what... Uh, you're arriving in a cab. Is the cab waiting for you guys out there? Yeah. In the parking lot, just... Okay. And like... Uh, it's a little bit late to be out this part of town. Are you guys uh, residents here? It's a hotel. I get watching the watching people coming and going, but like not you're, you're, letting them go not into the uh, uh, hotel. They, they just, uh, they trying to stop us in any capacity. They're just asking, but they're not, they're not stopping you. It's like, what, what are you doing? We got a little drunk. Um, we're just, we're just uh, getting back to our room. Yeah, we have we have a room up there. A friend of a friend of ours uh, checked in already. All right, could I see uh, your key card? It's uh, or do you guys want to come with us to reception? Escorts. Wow, that good luck. That. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's oh, go to reception. Okay. Yeah, let's go to... Yeah, yeah, they take us to the reception. Yeah, yeah, well... Yeah. All right, I had another map for reception. Uh, sorry, but, um, I just... I just whispered to Winchester, like, why are these guys so stuck up? It's a fucking hotel. <laughs> Is this a nice hotel? Because it looks in the shits. <laughs> uh, 
it it is. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look that good, but it is. It is a, a nice place. Uh, it's one of those places where they hire their own security, and that's kind of one of the perks of this hotel. Um, uh, it's like how, how just, many stars are, are are we talking? Like four star hotel, something like that. Yeah, maybe four. Okay, how many um, stars on the wanted level in GTA if we attack this place? <laughs> <laughs> Two. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, they're not escorting you there. Like, as for an idea, if you don't have it, just go to reception. Um, so, okay, you're walking okay. to reception, and there is... Um, is the reception? Can I do something like copy? All right, does it add a character? Does anybody remember the actual room number? 103. All right, thank you. You you probably have it on your... Yeah, 103, yeah. All right, uh, yeah, there's our receptionist that is right there. Uh, I know it looks like a gang member, but it's not. I just chose like a random token for it. Okay. Uh, he is like, uh, it seems like he's on speed and he's like, yeah, well, 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 welcome to the Raven Hotel Motel. It's so, it's so, it's so late. You guys uh, looking for a place to stay? You hey, guys... I don't see him. Hmm? I didn't get a, hmm? oh. I must be in the wrong spot. I'm in the wrong spot. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> I'm on yeah, way, you're there. way, uh, way down there. Oops, my man. <laughs> Drunk indeed. We're uh, and then I'll, I'll reach into my med uh, med tech bag and I'll pull out, <laughs> as any doctor would have, uh, like a roll of condoms. I'm like waiting for some friends. Oh man. Okay, are you friends staying here? Yeah, like, one of our ladies already checked into 103 and told us to meet her there. 103, uh, let me just check that for you. Oh, I like Mike? how I can hear it. Uh, uh, hear a click through the uh, audio, which is very, very good. Are you one or three? Are you, you friends with Miles? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're 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 friends, with Miles. Yeah. Okay, just one second. Let me call her. <laughs> tell her it's Colette. Yeah. So tell her Colette is has come. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Meanwhile, right. none of you are femmes. <laughs> All right, so the receptionist calls in front of you, and he's like, um, and I'm just man. ready to dive into a, the back of some place if shooting starts. <laughs> man, there there's some guys here uh, who want to see you, and uh, they say it's from Colette. Miles, Miles, she hung up. Uh, well, I'm 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 sorry, but uh, she's not even in the in the room. Uh, she left uh, earlier. Do you guys want to? I mean, wh why don't you call her? I'm 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 gonna ask um, you to leave. I'm gonna start. That that guy, someone picked up the other end of the line, right? Like he was talking to him for a second. Oh, you can assume so, yeah? But, uh, um, yeah, right. but it, it clearly looked like he was talking to someone for a moment, right? Yeah, yeah. So this person just lied through their teeth. So we're being stalled. Yeah. You're big... And then I'll, I'll look right at him and say, you're a big fan of rapists. Excuse Tell me, me, right here, right uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what, what happens in the motel? You know, I'm not my hearing and no. Well, this is a free country. <laughs> this is a free uh, country. No, You're allowed to rape people. But but who? But <laughs> who's who, who, who's raping? Who? Look. 
if 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 you are not, I'm gonna ask you to leave. Uh, security. And she is he is calling for the for the guards. Uh, what would you like guys want to do? I wanna. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna look at Lucas. I'm gonna be like, follow, stay right behind me. <laughs> And I'm gonna throw a smoke bomb. I, I, I mean, I, I got a pistol, but I should. I'll, I I'll keep my hands away from my holsters, and I'll be like, "Fine, fine." And as soon as the security guard gets within, yeah, like, I just uh, cower be behind Winchester or or uh, and put my hands on my holster. Yeah. yeah and as <laughs> soon as. Initiative. Uh, no, I'm pretending. I, I'm just. I'm like, uh, fine. I'm keeping my hands away from my holster. The moment okay. someone gets close enough. Uh, my pop-up weapon is going to come out instead. I'm going to shoot them. All right, the reception is like, what? Look, guys, just walk away. Uh, yeah, like this person, here. obviously, you, 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 you guys are obviously not her friend. Uh, you are an inviting guest, and from now, you are trespassing. Uh, she puts her hand down. She's like... Do I have to get the NCPD involved in this? Or you guys want to walk away? Is is Dice this close to her right now? It's what? Am, am I this close this close to the receptionist right now? Uh there is a um, there is a, a counter in between the two of you. Um we're we're not outside. Uh, oh we're inside? Can, so are the yeah, security we're, we're guards that close? Here. Hang on, hang on. Let's let's go to them. All right. Hello. Oh, okay. again, bring you. I'm I'm bringing you now. I was just making sure that I was still. But it's black now. <laughs> yeah, one second. Yeah, using hidden reveal stuff is a bit difficult. Um, what we need? Let's so imagine this is. Can you see something now? Yeah, I can see the reception and the parking lot outside. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna bring the dudes over. I'll be right back. Can I? Can I bring your characters over, or do you guys have to replace place them again? I'll put my hand up. Place them. So one guy walked with you, the other guy stayed out, and this is the receptionist. All right. I would like to like lean into the receptionist and be like, look, this person, Miles, is blackmailing a client of mine. We just want to talk to her and get our um, get uh, her data back. There's no reason that, that this has to get violent. Mm. All right. Who's that talking, Winchester? No, nope, that's Dice. 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 Okay. Um, Romeo. Persuasion. Persuasion. Gotcha.
He goes, look, I don't, I don't care who your client is. I, 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 I can see you guys are. are he says um, that. Are edge, edge runners? What's in it for me? Tell. I could, like, how much, how much? We, we, I'm sure we can come to an agreement of sorts. Once know? again, Maybe. my. Why, why, why don't you guys rent the room next to it? And then I cannot stop you from moving in. I will give you a discount. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, it's a, it's so a My deal. take is on the table for that. All right, why don't you take uh, 104? I'm going to give you a discount, and that's going to be 500 eddies for the night. 500 for the Which night? He's like exorbitant and ridiculous, but that's what he's saying. You would say the usual rates are probably... 50 to 100. Uh, Whichever one of you three covers it, I will pay you back. I mean, I have 10 eddies on me. <laughs> Only. I, I, I got this up with this guy. I'm about to shoot his guard in him next. <laughs> I got his. I, I got it this time. I got it this time. So, like, uh, if you want to pay me back later, that's fine. Uh, what I, I'm will, gonna, I will pay you back. I'll, yeah. What I'm, what I'm going to tell him, though, sure. what I'm going to tell him is, like, um, for this price, I am going to want some really good turndown service. That means no disturbance from anyone. He you understand me? He goes, you heard him, boys. They are now guests at our hotel. Um, go for a, go for a walk. And the guy's like, Roger, Roger. Um, the drones in Star Wars, Raya, Raya. They take a walk and he gives you a passkey for. Uh, here, I will reveal your room. Your beautiful 500 edit room. <laughs> and uh, as we're walking there, I'll, I'll just like, damn fucking sleaze. Should have shot him where he fucking stood. That's 103. This is 103 right here? Mm hmm. Is it outside motel? Sorry? So it's like a it's a motel, so like all the rooms are outside, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, sweet. Uh. GM, can I make a request for you? Yeah. Um, when combat starts, could you please start a uh, maxed out uh, backup ti uh, lawman backup timer that upon uh, upon reaching zero, envy rolls up with a no with a nomad. Okay, they will have to call for. Like, from the moment they notify you, yeah? Or are you already on the way? When they told you that you they were gonna go to um, the hotel? From the from the moment that they notify me would be like from when the fighting starts. So like when they're rolling initiative, one of them, like, calls me in as a sort of action. Okay. And I'm and specifically then, asking for the for the like the maxed out time, on the lawman dice because I'm in the badlands right now. Uh -huh. Okay, what do you mean the maxed out dice? I'm, I'm don't understand. Um, okay, so lawman, uh, right. Um, wouldn't it be six uh, turns? Yeah, maybe we could, could do like a turn countdown until the MB arrives. Yeah, roll a d6 to find out in how many rounds your backup will arrive on the scene. If you roll a 6 on this roll, instead of your typical backup, the backup will arrive as the plus your range. So, yeah, just 6 turns. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, let's say that uh, since you know they're there, you are kind of ready for it. Yeah. Uh, uh, would you... Okay, well, well, we'll see how it goes. What kind of um, gun do you have, Dice? I have a heavy, I have an excellent heavy um, pistol, silenced with uh, armor-piercing rounds. I, I got just a normal heavy pistol, standard, with 50 rounds, yeah. 
I've got the very heavy, and I've also got an SMG. And I have a rocket launcher, which is why I wanted to come in as a backup role. Well, we're only expecting one person, right? And we're only we want, expecting one person. And yeah. we want that person alive, so I, I say we just, like, you know, grab it. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> like, use that rocket launcher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, you guys you still have... Like, if you, you guys, cash, right? Here. Yeah. Well, Dice, I said, did you pay in cash or did you, did you afford him, like, digital credits? Either way, when we're coming back out, we're getting that shit back. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, I, I wouldn't mind for this shithole hotel to have another hole in it. Yeah, I get what, a fucking rocket launcher. I get what you're saying. <laughs> I got dibs on the I got dibs on the security guard's weapons. <laughs> should have just shot that guy. I should have just pulled that trigger. All right. I, okay, we got the key card you toward the a badge. <laughs> we got the key card toward the door. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow in a flashbang to like freeze her, and then we just gotta grab her and get her to give us. Uh, now you have data. the key card on your door, 104. Yeah, we we need to. But I mean, we don't, off, we don't even have to go into the room. <laughs> this is your room. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah. The dice is gonna walk straight back there and be like, hey. Where is the key card of 103? <laughs> give me give me that shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nice. We're like, yo, I paid $500 for your groceries. I would like the actual key I want. <laughs> we, we, we don't keep duplicates. Oh, these are like just normal keys? No, they're swipe, swipe keys. Huh. Like swipe cards. Yeah, but... With your security check, uh, can you break this door down, uh, Luke? Uh... Seems like a pretty easy Probably, yeah, see, yeah. Uh, I'll roll a sec check, a security check. It's electronic, right? Electronic security? Yep. Fifteen. Yeah, no problem. Just yeah. rig it. Somehow, and it just beeps green. All right, we're gonna open the Tell door. <laughs> who's who's opening the door and doing what? Yeah. Okay. This is this is my plan, boys. Tell me if you guys got a better one. I want to open the door, throw in a flashbang. After it goes off, go in and just try to grab her, so we can get the data. Anybody got okay. any, anybody got a sure. different? Yep. Okay, shoot so anything out of her hands or break her legs if needed. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, this this is our room. So where's one, uh, three o? One o three. Yeah, this is one o three right here. <laughs> oh, okay. I love the bubbles it makes. <laughs> yeah. All right. You open the okay. door. You throw in a flashbang. Right. Yep. You have to roll athletics or anything? Um, yeah, sure. Don't... Oh, it's yeah. running in the middle of the room. Yep. Uh, okay. All right, it just goes... Boom. No problem. <laughs> uh, you enter the room? Yep. Yeah, I stay outside, not, like, behind the door. I go... I go left. <laughs> All right. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone in the room. Uh, there is a toilet, though. Uh, what you do notice uh, is that... Um, well, no, you know what? You don't notice anything. You just enter. There's nothing. Uh, Winchester? Mm -hmm. What do you do? You see Dice entering. He throws a flashbang. And... Are you coming in? just silence? Yeah. Winchester, there's nobody in here. <laughs> I am just about ready to march back to that receptionist. And I'm like, what uh, the uh, fuck uh, is... I'm like, do your... Wait, actually, you know what? I'm gonna walk up... Here, wait. One, two... Yeah, I'm gonna walk up against here and see if any of these doors down this line open. All right. Someone trying to get away. Now I'll tell um, 
Lucas, I walk by, I'm like, scan for access points, go. Okay. Uh, what I had to roll for that? Um, are you gonna scan right there outside? Or are you gonna come in, or where exactly are you gonna? Yeah, move? like uh, scanning here, like uh, Winchester uh, told told me, like for access points for any kind of access point to some place. Uh, yeah, roll. <coughs> yeah, but what did I have to roll? I forgot. Sorry. I just want the ten plus four. Ah, one d ten plus four. Okay. Uh, Let's see, one, D10, plus four, two, plus four, six. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's six meters. Uh, yeah. You don't find any access points uh, out there, so basically on this radius, there's nothing. Yeah, um, okay. You see, Not kind of... I mean, just the terminals for the swipe cards, bend right? Bending machines. Uh, Maybe some TV signal, but no access point. Can I roll a perception in the room to see Do you see want if... to move? Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll move. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll move here, like, for it to give me, like, a wider radius. And then... I mean... Uh, you know architectures, if there is an architecture, it will be inside the room. Uh, like if uh, you stand yeah. in the middle, there will be less chance of you finding yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Mm. Maybe yeah, I'll move it inside now that there's nothing, no one right. here. Yeah, and let me scan again. Uh, that will be on your next turn. Uh, so dice, what what, yeah. you, what did you want to do? I want to use perception to see if anybody was like just recently left. Yeah, roll perception. Or or see if stuff. Um, there is no sign of movement, uh, the room is like it hasn't been used, uh, but you notice that uh, the intercom, which is here, has uh, something attached to it. Of course, the camera. Uh, Winchester, you try to open the doors, uh, they all seem to be locked, you hear some person kind of making some room inside, and I'm like, what the fuck you want? I am armed, and I'm not afraid to shoot. <laughs> From Screw behind the door. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm already at the next door, don't care. <laughs> nice. Um... All right, um, Lucas, do you want it to try again? Yeah. Okay. Um, scan. I mean, you've seen the intercom with something attached to it. I'm going to say that you get close to it. And there is yeah. definitely an access point there. So I, I don't need to scan or do I? No, you just need to jack in if you want to. Okay, so... Well, let's see. I'm yeah. I'm going to interface there. See what's what. All right. Uh, you appear at uh, you see an empty lobby, uh, and you have three actions, three net actions. What would you like to do? Okay. Okay. Again, what do I see? It's just a digital lobby of the the hotel. Okay. Uh, Ah, uh, okay, let's see. I have three actions, right? Yeah. What do I want to do? Uh -huh. Looking is nice, though we might already be discovered here. I mean, I could try to do a backdoor on the on the whole hotel. Or on right, the, so um, what you would usually do when you arrive it's mm -hmm. because you don't know what's what's what you will usually do a pathfinder to see 
Ah, like the yeah. architecture yeah, looks yeah. like. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So Sorry. roll me a perfinder. So <laughs> and, or if yeah. or you could use an action to load some of your programs. Uh, let me see what action do I what programs do I have? Uh, Warm booster speedy. Uh, no, I'll just ro I just roll uh, Pathfinder again. Uh, what so, what do I roll in? One d six plus one d ten plus four. One d ten plus four. Okay, one d ten. Basically, no, every roll that you do on the net yeah. is gonna be one d ten plus four unless one. you load a program that gives you a bonus. Okay, 1, yeah. 10, 7, 11. 7, 11, all right. Yeah. With an 11, you can see there's a floor past you which has a password. Uh, then it branches into two, left and right. On the left, there is a wasp. And then there is a control node after the wasp. And on the right, there is seems to be a file and then there is a password that stops you from seeing what's from seeing what's what's after that. So that stops your pathfinder. Uh, okay, so I so uh, a, a door with a password and then two branching paths. All right. Yeah. On the left there is a wasp. So, and then after the wasp there is a control point. And then on the right, there seems to be a file, and then there's a password that you cannot see anything through. Um, well, I will try. I will try to crack the door with a password. Like okay, so um, movement is free, so you go down uh, mm -hmm. one level, and you use your second action to backdoor. So that's a DB8. Yeah. Um... A what now? Sorry? DV8. It's a password, and to crack it, to use backdoor, you need a DV8. Yeah, okay. Difficult value 8. Okay, so I roll a D10, right? Plus yeah. 4. Six. Yep. You pass no problem, and now you have a choice of uh, left or right. Oh, it's already with six. Yeah, you cannot. Uh... Yeah, I cannot. I can. I cannot buy the to crack the password. Uh, I mean, let's see. I don't think I have anything that would help me crack the password. You have a, a program or something? Uh, I mean, I have that. Mm, I have worm. Worm will give you a plus two for. All the all your attempts. So okay. you wanna load that up? Yep. Yeah. I would load the uh, my worm. <laughs> Alright. Um that will end your turn. While that's happening, uh mm -hmm. Dice and Winchester, anything you want to do? Hey Winchester, do you have a security tech as well? Uh, I can barely open my own door to my apartment sometimes. Yeah, uh, me too. Damn it. Alright. Yep. How, how pissed are these guys gonna be if I decide to, uh, just bash open a door? Which door? This door. Uh, that's, <sighs> not, that's just, uh, to the vending machines of the hotel. Oh, that's a vending machine? They already, they already took our gonna, money so far, I mean... I'm gonna reveal. Probably gonna try to extort us out of everything. That's not even to say the people inside. Right. It's just vending machines, yeah. Okay, they, they haven't really taken a hostile action from me. Like, uh, I'm just gonna let Winchester do what he wants to do if he needs my help. Uh, I'll, I'll help him out, but I think our best way right now, since we got this, uh, since we got Lucas working on, uh, on the architecture anyway, is to let, uh, Lucas do his thing. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna hold any action unless, uh, Winchester needs help. Alright, so I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can so you're not all waiting. Um, uh -huh. but, uh, you loaded Worm, and now you have, again, three actions, so you're gonna yeah. try to... Yeah, to backdoor that shit again. Yeah, go for it. But now you have um, plus six because you have warm. 
I run it plus six. Then eight, nine, 12. All right. Now you can go right or left. On the left, there's a wasp, and on the right, there is a file. I'll go for the file. All right. You go for the file, and you have to spend one action to ID. And that will be, again, just roll to ID. Okay. Again, one. Roll 1d10 plus 4. Yep. Okay, 13. All right, you grab the file. It is uh, the hotel list of guests uh, with, uh, you know, the cards that they used to pay. And yeah. Ooh. Just uh, the information. I mean, it doesn't have passwords or anything, just the, like the numbers. Ah. And, but yeah, okay. basically all the... It, it, it even has uh, some of the hotel staff that's working the shift. It's just basically a, a roster. Yeah, all and the information of the hotel. Yeah. Okay. After that, there is um, a password that you cannot see through. And on the other side, if you wanted to backtrack, there is a WASP and a control node. Control node usually controls something like here, a camera, a turret, a drone, an elevator, a door. Uh, in this case, what you're looking for is a control node for the uh, intercom thingy that's attached to... The... Okay... Huh. Mm -hmm. So the other password, the other password, I cannot crack it or can I No, try? you can, you can try. Oh, it, okay, let's try to crack that password. All right, no problem. Go for it. Roll the 10, now uh, the worm is still red, so it's plus 6, 7. No. <laughs> yeah, no, you cannot, you cannot cry. Yeah, it needs but you can try again. Okay, let's try it again. Fuck it. 10. Uh, no, it... Um, oh, no, actually, yeah. It, yeah, that... You, you crack it. Uh, okay, well, what does it have? Now you only have uh, one action left. Do you want to uh -huh. move down? Yeah, yeah, sure, let's go down. All right, you go down kind of blindly. Um, as you enter to that floor, you see a digital scorpion uh, that appears on your path and tries to sting you. Can you roll uh, your speed? Uh, I speed. Uh, oh. Sorry. That works. Uh, what role is that? So. Hang on, I'll let you know. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's all, that's all good. That will be. Uh, What is it actually? I guess it's just your interface. If you don't have, if you didn't put in like your Speedy Gonzalez or anything, then it's just the interface, I believe. Yeah, I didn't uh, use my my Speedy Gonzalez or, or right. any other program, so yeah, just my interface. And All right, you have to be the nine or you get beaten by a scorpion. The scorpion uh, hits you, stings your... Does your digital character look as you, or do you have a different avatar? No, just as me, just as me. Oh, you're lucky. Um, you feel stink and you feel this kind of poison getting in your brain and it slows you down, uh, basically for the next... Um, For the next hour, you're gonna have your move uh, being minus one. It's it's nothing too bad. Uh, okay, move. Okay. All right. It is your turn now. Okay. So, okay. The the scorpion is a program, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, can I use? No, because it's not a net runner. 
Shit, that. Uh, can I use bank hammer on the scorpion? Yes, of course. Try to attack. Go for it. Okay. So then again, just uh, my d6, my d10 plus four. Mm -hmm. Ten. All right, you will hit. Roll damage. Okay, three d6. Okay. Roll. Sorry. Roll. Three. D6. Yeah, root 3, D6 to a non black eyes program. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you, you smash it and pixels just go all over the place. It just still looks like a scorpion, but it's just very glitchy. And yeah. You still have uh, two actions. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you, uh, can I load armor for my, uh, one of my programs, lowers my brain damage that I would receive? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. You load okay. armor and you have one action? Uh, again, I, I attack the scorpion again, if it's not so dead. So you cannot use the one hammer again, but you could stab him. Uh... I don't have a sap. Do sap. I have? Everyone has a sap. So ah, sap, have... yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah. It's a net running action. Yeah. Net running ability. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would do that. So it's a 1d10, right? Yeah. One, one to attack, yeah. 1d10 plus my interface, right? Yep. Okay. Eight, eight defender wins. It doesn't attack you and now he's trying to attack you uh, can you roll uh, your defense uh, so again right the, the same mm. yeah same dice unless okay. unless armor gives you no I don't think it gives him bonus to defend uh, armor no no it doesn't okay. yeah it does not hit you and it's just standing there still okay so I go again right Yep, you're done. Okay, so I'm going to try to sap that guy uh, again. Uh, GM, next time, uh, next time I get it, next time uh, I have a chance, can I check the bathroom to see if anybody's in there? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, you hit. Uh, Damage that was it with the bad hammer. Uh, no, with the sap. Okay. It's 1d6 for 4. 1d6, 3. All right. As you hit it with your hammer, it just uh, disappears and screeches. Uh, but the floor is clear. Um, okay. Uh, can I use Pathfinder to reveal what's there on the rough. second floor? Yeah. Uh, there is a password on the right, so you don't know what's after that. And on the left, there is a control node. Uh, I, I mean, if I still have an action, I try to go to a control node. Uh, okay, as you approach the control node, uh, there is a hell hunt, and it attacks you. Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> Please tell me you got insulated wiring. Well, at least you have the armor on. Okay. Yeah, I have the armor. Wait, where is this baby? I roll your defense? Or did you speed, sorry? No, okay. Six. Okay, so it's six. Six? Uh, okay. Oh boy. Here we go. All right, the hellhound bites your face. Oh, oh. Uh, it's gonna do. Damn. 
five damage. Uh, so, what does your armor says? Uh, armor believe... lowers total brain damage you receive by four as long as the program is raised. Yeah. All right. So you just take one damage. It's not. Oof. It's not too bad. Uh, however, mm -hmm. is your deck insulated? I don't think so. I don't know. I think you have to purchase or upgrade it so that it becomes isolated. Am I? Uh, I I think so. But yeah, no, it's just a normal cyber deck. All right. Uh, your deck catches on fire, and it's not it's not too bad. And you you clothing as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to spend the whole mid action to pull yourself out of fire fire or you're gonna start taking uh yeah taking damage points of damage every time uh the roll uh dice you enter the toilet and there doesn't seem to be anyone okay so, i mean in his defense the receptionist did tell you that he wasn't that she wasn't <laughs> there ah uh, i would like to get into um, this room <laughs> she went to get a refund I want to get into this room, but like through the yeah. vending machine. Yeah. This. Oh, okay. That door is uh, locked. All right, cool. How pissed will they be if I try to bust it open? Are you gonna yeah. just shoot, shoot it open? Okay, I'll just, yeah. I got a silencer so they, no one can really hear me. Okay, okay. At least uh, not through two roll. walls. Yep. I'll just roll the attack. Yeah, that will, that will definitely hit. Roll to damage. I'll say it has 15 HP. Uh, 10 damage. Yeah, so it's almost broken. Uh, you can do another one. A... Oh, you have two shots. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, that hit. Just. <laughs> and yeah, it is open. Sweet. All right, uh, back to Lucas. Um, you have three actions. Uh, yeah, and I have to put myself out, <laughs> right? If you uh, want okay. to. Uh, well, first, I want to use a Hellbolt on the Hellhound. Not if it's possible. Uh, hell, my Hellbolt. Is that a program, yeah? Yeah. All right, so you have to use an action to load it. Okay, I load it. I load the Hellbolt. What does it do? Uh, it does 2d6 damage. Okay, I see. Uh, yeah. And pretty much the same effect uh, as a Hellhound, but... Uh, you will know that it won't do anything because a uh, Hellbolt is uh, anti-personal. Yeah, anti-personal, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, you are right. Can I take my action back? <laughs> you loaded it, but you haven't attacked with it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to, to attack with it. Yeah, this was a mistake. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm going to spend an action to put the fire out. <laughs> uh, okay, because you already did a net action, you cannot do a mid action, so you ah, just have okay. one net action left. And one net so you... action left. Uh, well, I I'm mean, gonna back. tell you the options that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, so you could try to slide, so escape one level down and just kind of ignore it. Uh, you oh, could okay. uh, safely jack out, but then everything will be reset. Mm -hmm. Or you could uh, attack him. Nah. I'm going to slide. All right. Uh, roll your uh, speed. Um, yeah. And I need to do that. <laughs> that's what I was. That's what I said <laughs> about the payroll. <laughs> Four twenty Yeah, nine. you slide down the next level, and the hellhound just can doesn't catch you, and just stays there, kind of um, growling <laughs> digitally. Uh, as you go down. You see that there is um, a file. 
uh, but you will have to add it on your next turn. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, dice. You can see uh, the back office. Mm -hmm. uh, can you I, see that? I, no, it dice. darkened it. There it is. All right. New York. Can I roll perception to see if there's anything interesting in here? Yeah, there's cabinets, there's a, there's a desk with paper, there's like the roster and the cleaning, there's a whole bunch of cleaning supplies, there's a computer, uh, there is a safe underneath. Right, I would like to open the safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, very locked, but it's an electronic lock. I will give it a, I'll give it the old try. <laughs> Go for it, Rob, yeah, electronic. <laughs> Uh, you have three luck? I do. <laughs> Alright, somehow you're just pressing buttons randomly and it's just one of those old bugs that you read somewhere and you remember and it's like, oh well, this is an old model. It works, it's open, I'm gonna go with... Mm, Um, These old school asshats have it set to factory reset. <laughs> it's about 400 A's there. There's also a couple of bags of um, black lace. Black lace? And there's a couple of bags of uh, smash. Uh, there is, oh, uh, nice. two hi there's two hypos. And there is a speed heal on it as well. Ooh, and a speed heal. Awesome. And just some photos of in a manila folder. Uh, you will have to look at them on your next time. Okay. Uh, Winchester, you're just like keeping an eye on on everyone. Oh, I'm gonna yawn. Eat another Cliff Bar. <laughs> and uh, not hearing uh, our Netrunner burning alive, <laughs> I'll just kind of. Stroll around to um, the other side of the building and just get a quick peek around. All right. Yeah, the, the guards are kind of coming back from their walk. They got sent to do a walk. Um, Lucas, you take two damage from fire. Yeah, yeah. Straight to you. And uh, the hellhound <laughs> is going to attack you. Oh no! Wait, no. No, no. no I, uh, it's got. It's got to see you want to, follows him. You, you want to? No, he, he already escaped. So oh, alright. Do you? I want, yeah, you to, want ID to ID the file. Yeah, I want to ID the file. See what. Go for it. Is. Okay. So. One D ten plus four. Five. It's encrypted and it seems to be too complicated. You. However, you can just download it and try again later, or you could try again now. Hmm. I'm going to download it. All right. Uh, and I have one action left. Can I jack out of the of the architecture? Yeah. Okay, I safely jack out and put myself you out. Jack out and you pull yourself out. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, Run to the sink it. and <laughs> water, <laughs> like on the toilet. As, as you're walking, you do you realize that you're kind of mentally poisoned and you're like struggling a little bit to walk but but yeah. you'll make it <laughs> I go here to the bad to the toilet and just drop my head inside <laughs> swirly yourself I love yeah. it All right. <laughs> mentally poisoned and burning right. alive unless Dice wants to do anything else I'll say uh, you guys just go out get back in the car and reconvene can I, can I yeah, look at the file? The swirly, die by the swirly. Uh, dice? Can I look at the file that you said I had a wait to see? Yeah. So there is some... Whoa, what is that? I think I already uh, muted it. That's web. Lucas, you're making some progress. Uh, on the fight, there is, um... On the file, it's just some, uh, like a, 
bit of black made from different guests and mostly that like they have passed out and they have trashed the place uh things that when the room service came to find uh, this like you know uh, an okay. old crime scene this is information there you think is valuable and uh, you will have to on your own uh, hustle up and see what if, if it's worth or not uh, but uh, yeah it shows that these people definitely uh, have some sort of surveillance around Alright, I'll, I'll just take the file and leave. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, with some time, uh, while you're on the car, uh, Lucas, you... Yeah. I mean, I walk down to where yeah. the other guys are. Yeah, all struggling, groggy. And, uh, you, you said the file was encrypted, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, you you identified because you have you have plenty of time to do so offline. Yeah, and it's basically uh, uh, the script. It's kind of like the virus that he left on his architecture, and the thing that's controlling uh, and forwarding and the calls from the intercom to his place. Uh, okay. And uh, basically, you know where is it being forwarded to. You know uh, where he lives. Sweet. It's an address that's not uh, not too far from here. I'll say it's a fifteen minute drive. Okay. Just, yeah. We'll we'll tell Manny to step on it. Yeah. Manny, yeah, I share it with the guys. You know everything. And then we'll text. We'll text. Uh, am I being text angry? envy. Am I, okay. Yeah, cool, I'm text cool, envy. Cool. Yay! It's alive. Uh, uh, and is the virus the thing like uh, something I can keep like the program like the code or I mean if you ever wanted to forward an intercom from a hotel to your phone or to your house you can okay yeah I'll, I'll, I'll yeah I'll keep the github <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah, I'll I think it basically the... works like a bug yeah I'll keep that to work on a program myself <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have to appreciate this guy. The code is pretty neat. Like you can, from what yeah. you saw, from the chip and from this, he's he's not an amateur. Awesome. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the the, the file for me. Yeah. Slash, if Codet is in room, record. If not, don't record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A for loop, like. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what is the plan? Are we? Yeah, so out of time. We have still. We still have a little bit of time, right? Yeah, yeah. we have uh, forty-two minutes. Okay. Yeah, so we can text Tembi and meet her on the place where this this thingy was forwarding uh, the data. I mean, All I right. think. How about you guys come up with a plan? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna hit the loop real quick. I'll be right back. And, all right, so first off, um... We gotta get our net runner we, into the architecture. Yeah, that's that's a great infiltration plan. I want to see if we can get somebody in the alley behind the building, just in case they try to, like, jump Bolt. out like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for that matter... We're also going to have to contend with the possibility that you tip them off and they're already gone. Mm, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but if we, get, if we get the files at least, it's a win-win, but this is a good net runner from what it, from what it our, looks like. Our greatest hope is that they are so sure of themselves that they don't think that you can track them back here from what we found. Well, if they're watching us in the motel, they probably think we're stupid. I yeah. hope that you guys put on that, such airs. I mean, I flush my head down the toilet after I got burned. Yeah, by the by, by the by, why are why why what like nice burns though? Those are gonna scar up nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like these. Envy, 
Envy says that with like hooded eyes and like a fake smile. She's not. She's acting very poorly about it. She, she, it's it's like a little bit personal for her. <laughs> yeah, but do you want to make a fun perception check? <laughs> yeah, let's let's do that. Like a, a perception for. Yeah, 13. <laughs> yeah, it's like... I, I'll, I'll let you have that. Yeah, no, you can see, like, underneath the pancake of makeup that Envy wears, there are a couple of, like... Uh, Electric ravines, scars. Ravines in her cheek oh. and stuff. Yeah. Mm. It's not It's not electrical. It's, it's shrapnel. <laughs> it's shrapnel wow. scars. Oh, it wasn't that time you walked through the electric fence twice? No, it was that time I got a grenade dropped in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That Levi Ackerman. <laughs> oh, yeah, and also, I fucking, uh, I, I, I actually went down that, that, that game. So I felt like Envy needs scars to cover um, no, it's a, like for Lucas. What I'm thinking, it's like not like third degree burn scars or something like that. I hope. But no, you just got a little bit of brain burn. That's it. Yeah, I mean, my character clothes got on fire. <laughs> for a character who doesn't have like really good evasion, of the two times, of the three times grenades have been thrown at me. And the one time I've dropped a grenade at my own feet, I haven't been hit by any grenades. <laughs> <laughs> I had a grenade really lucky. expertly into my lap. <laughs> who, who was that? That um, it, There was someone that betrayed us in our job. It was a player, and they tried to get away with this really expensive antique car, and they just... A meet, like Instead of waiting for us, they just thought, oh, well, I'll just drive it into a minefield. <laughs> <laughs> he almost fucking died. I mean, he, he had, it was awful. I mean, if you guys weren't having it, he would. Nobody was having it in the car. And we, we were sitting in the armored vehicle, and he's like, "Oh, thanks, guys, really." Th and then I like, we all just like pulled handguns on him, and then we were like, "Cough up your gun," and then he <laughs> gave it over, and he just sat there the whole ride back. <laughs> Ah, like smiles demanding that Envy give up her footage of the NCPD illegally fucking striking down a telemarketing office. Yeah, but like, uh, smiles like took that from you, and uh, that was under the threat of like, oh, you'll go to the prison otherwise. This was like, we were all in consensus about blowing his brains out. <laughs> Understandable, have it okay. <laughs> All right, have you guys come up with a plan? What's, what's the goal? Yeah, um, so infill's going to be handled by our net boy. Uh, somebody needs to get behind the building just to make sure that they can't bolt, and if they do, that they get caught. Uh, our main hope is that uh, Jazz is confident enough in her net running to think that we couldn't find her address. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond that, it's going to be classic on foot infill. <laughs> classic grabber. Grabber. Gonna wait in the alley. Just, just, rem just remember that uh, the receptionist did call her, so she knows that you are yeah. in the hotel. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, so we are expecting you now. We are betting that sh that she thought that we were so stupid. And we suck so much <laughs> that she just uh, thinks we're amateurs trying to locate her. Uh, you boys are really good at shooting things and surviving getting shot at. Do you want me to hang out in the back so that I can make sure that she doesn't bolt and point a rocket launcher at her if she does? Um, I'm not sure if that works at close range. You. No, it doesn't. Minimum minimum safe distance is 15 meters in my hands. Well, you just need someone to either tackle her or take out her legs, then. I can probably do that pretty calmly. Alright, so I move you to a new map. It's a 
address in the that you guys got. Sweet. And I take it we got like um, a sweet number and everything. Like a what, sorry? A suite number or an apartment number? Um, or twenty main streets. Yeah, it's on the minutes. it's on the it's on the first floor of a, of a set of uh, buildings. Four twenty one Main Street. Yeah, four twenty Main Street. It's, it's, <laughs> it's quite a quite a big one. Uh, but it. Uh, I was I was putting that because I was still under the assumption that the payroll address was fake. <laughs> so I'm just like, hmm, funny numbers. Yeah, Four twenty Main totally Street, different. Suite sixty nine. All right, I take it you can see this is the the door. Hey, which one's the door? Here? Where's it at? I'm sorry. Can you can you see underneath uh, here? Also, Envy uh, is going to oh uh, is sorry, going to know. have before she left uh, con uh, communicated to Colette that um, it seems that Jazz is actually looking to sell Colette out, not like enter into a relationship with her. based off of the information that we have gotten and that the hotel room mm -hmm. thing she was, was like, just if, a... If she, if she wanted money, she would have asked. I could, I could have paid her, Amanda could have paid her. I, I don't... I don't believe you, but I don't care. Just make sure my identity does not get revealed. So I'll, So is it down here? That's the door? Yeah, I don't know. Like, let's be real. If these gotcha. people are powerful enough to find Colette as soon as this stuff gets figured out, then Colette is yep. not going to be enough. the high dollar uh, client here. Yeah. <laughs> More fucked from the word go. So yeah, it's uh, right in the middle of the night, it's about 4 a.m. now. Uh, you, I'm gonna say that you parked, uh, say, a block away. Mm -hmm. uh, it, there's not a, like a some road right in front of it, but uh, it's more of, a, of an alleyway. Uh, it's a building that has maybe four floors. Uh, and uh, this is the number. And it has alleyways to the sides as well as Winchester is is there. Are there any windows on the windows and doors? Alright, Winchester's to that um, side, Envy's gonna be on the other. Um, and then you're behind that is just waiting. There is a little window here. Uh, can I but it's just kind of for light. One of those top top ones. Um, this right here is a wall, uh, that, what are we looking uh, at for fire area. escape? It's about 10, 10, 10, 15 feet, uh, and, uh, Fire escapes, this is really what, I'm, what we're looking for, what I am looking for, probably Winchester too, I hope. Uh, yeah, if you look up, there is a fire escape, uh... On either side? On this side, hang on. Um... I can say that around right here. Uh... That's... Stairs to go up to a second floor. Uh... Alright, so I guess the plan is you two are going to be in the alleyways? Mm-hmm. Alright, Lucas, I'm going to need you to get us into this door. Okay, so I'm going to scan to see if, or is there an interface like a, something where people just put their cards or 
or is just a normal lockpick for that door? Yeah. No, it's a it's an electronic lock. Electronic lock. Okay, I'm gonna sure. try to crack that with electronic security. Um, Let's see. Fifteen. All right. Uh, you crack and you open <laughs> the door. You slice open. Uh, can you roll initiative, please? Gotcha. All of you. All of you. Okay. All of you. Then. Oh man, I always get low initiative. <laughs> I have a I have a charisma call thingy, so it's gonna be two plus whatever this is. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have charisma call? I don't think so. No, I put Karenzikov on my uh, one-shot character. <sighs> I just do cocaine when I want to be faster. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need all this fancy cybernetic shit. I got some smash. Isn't that like cocaine or something? <laughs> I think that just makes you happy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, euphoric. <laughs> That's why Envy, right. uh, as you, Envy started with three. <laughs> as you open the door from this roof, uh, a turret pops down and starts shooting at you, uh, Lucas. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna reveal, hang on. Yeah. Kind of what you can see. You've been revealed now? Uh, no, don't, not on my end. Not on mine either. Well, nor mine. Yeah. Now I can see. That circle, that's the... Is that that's the, the turret. That's the turret? All right. Yeah. Um... So I'm, I'm getting hammered by the turret? I mean, I didn't enter, I just open the door yeah give me one second to which the turret responds yeah illegally <laughs> <laughs> the turret slowly goes through the hmm. how do I do this damn it All right one second let me fix this I don't have a token for the turret I thought I did I'm just gonna pretend it's this all right, yeah, that works. The wallet just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it was uh -huh. like a, like a, my, my wallet fell out of my pocket, and I was leaning back in my chair, and then it fell and hit me, and I, I thought something like bit me or something, so I jumped. <laughs> Wait, my mic was muted. I I yelped. I was like, ah. Uh, See, that's the kind of embarrassing things that you need to be cutting out of the videos, Liquid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Lucas. Uh huh. This turret comes out and shoots a shot at you, and it's gonna be, do 16 points of damage. And can you roll me 2d6, please? Or, you know what? I'll do it. Okay. 11. You take five points of damage. Five, okay. Uh, what is your SP? My HP, right S now it's... SP, like your body armor. Ah, body armor. Ah, uh, it was, it's seven on the head, on the head for my, for my hat, for my Kevlar hat. And 11 for my body. All right, so you're gonna take five damage from the critical injury. Your, it hits your fingers. Like basically you had your fingers on the door. Uh -huh. And they are almost gone, they're crushed. You're gonna have minus four to all actions with your hands. Uh, and you're gonna okay. take uh, seven more damage, and your armor is now ablated, so now it's ten. Uh, um, but My body armor is this. ten? It's now ten, yeah. Uh, dice, I think you're next. All right. Uh, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, Lucas, no! And then I'm gonna shoot, then I'm gonna move up. One, two three and shoot the shoot the um the what is it the turret with my turret. with my microwaver 
Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit, how does that even work? Wrong. Basically, if it hits, it's out. Because it's an electronic thing, uh, it takes out electronics. It's, it's just a ranged EMP. It's pretty, pretty fucking nice. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, it got me out of a an escape drive. What the hell is that? Ah. 19, yeah, that will definitely hit at that distance. And so, for how many turns, or how does that work? It should be done for about a minute. So, so 10 turns, uh, 20 turns. Fuck my life. All right, well, you do it. So, that turn is pretty much and, out and, of commission. Uh, great. <laughs> Uh, okay. what's in, who's next? Winchester? You just hear like a one shot and then the distinct wave of sound of a microwave and all nice the, does greens. it affect any electronics? All the electronics in, what's the range of it? It's a, it's a, it's the same range as a um, very heavy pistol and it only gets one roll. It has eight, um, eight shots in it for one battery. No, no, I mean... Like if if there was more things here, is it like a grenade effect, like an area of effect? No, no, it's a directional weapon. Okay, okay. it's like it's like shooting a you gun. Just hear that, uh, Winchester. I'm gonna breathe in and then sigh, <laughs> and I'll uh, go ahead and take cover behind this, and I'll hold position because there's fuck else to do. All right, and uh, Lucas. Uh huh. No, okay. MB is, is next, next, no? I thought she rolled a 7. No. I, I rolled a 7, yeah. yeah she, she rolled a 7, I rolled a 10. Yeah, so it means so you're, next. you're next. Me? Yeah. 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 Ah, okay. So what do I do? I scream in pain. <laughs> First, from my feet, all my fingers get crushed. And... Um, Why don't you come in and, and try yeah, to locate a, locate a access point? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I move towards eyes, like limping and cursing under my breath, and I'm going to scan for an access point. Okay, one. There is about three different access points. Uh, one coming from here, one mm -hmm. coming from behind the turret. So yeah, you can connect to whichever you want. Um, okay. Uh, dice cover me. I'm going to connect to the to an axe to. I'm going to jack in here. Cover oh. me if anything comes from there behind the turret. All right, I okay. got you. <laughs> okay, so I jack into the into the access point. All right, as you jack in, you start hearing some like saxophone music and like a little drum beat and okay. you see yourself are in like some sort of digital bar and um, that is the lobby okay what so would you like to do? Uh, first uh, I want to to use Pathfinder to reveal everything yes, well. Okay, 13. 13, okay, one second. Um, you wrote 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, floor one, you see a password. Floor okay. two, you see a file. Okay. Floor three, you see a raven. It's a black eyes. Then it's spreads into two. That's two passwords. Uh, okay. One you can not see pass. The other one you see that and there's a password and a black eyes and okay. a control node. Uh, Watch out for the see. raven. Let me yeah, show destroy your software. Yeah, I mean, we, there's black eyes now. Okay, so. Um, I have how many actions left? How many net actions let, left? Let me see if I can... I'm gonna try to paste it so you, you get a better idea. Yeah. Uh, 
One second. Yeah, like just uh, a little drawing or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna... Do you mind if I put it on uh, Discord? Is it okay for me? Ah, oh, yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> That's what you can see with your Pathfinder run. Okay, one pass from black eyes right The DVs are uh, maybe a little bit different, but the structure. So it's password, a file, black eyes with a raven, then two branches. One has a password that you cannot go through, and then the other one is a password, a black eyes, and a control node. Okay, so the important thing here might be uh, might be the file. So, uh, I I load worm first. Okay. okay, so I have worm loaded, uh, and I have one action left, right? Yeah, you just came. You load worm, yeah. and I'll try to get the password. Go for it. Okay, so. Rolling is plus six because the worm increases it by two. Fifteen. Yep. Okay. You it and you can move down to a file. To, to a file. Okay. All right. And that's yeah. it for you, uh, Envy. All right. Um, first thing I want to do is I'm going to hear uh, Lucas scream and. I am going yeah. to uh, use my action this turn to make a perception check on the side that of the building that I'm on and check for what looks like movement or activity of some sort. Right. It is just an, an alleyway. You have um, like a Are fence there no windows? Type of wall. Because the fence, you will have to climb the fence and then that will let you see the actual building. If you were looking to like, it's like if you had a yard and you're outside the yard, the whole building God. has like this fence yard, you could try to climb it. Okay. Uh, Envy is not good at climbing. <laughs> oh man, I, sh I should have used, I should have gave me Ringo's, uh, Ringo's, uh, um, um, grappling hook again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, would not be funny. Okay. Um, damn, I wish I'd known that before combat started. That's alright, I'll allow you to move to where you think you would have been. Alright. Yeah, otherwise I probably would have been right behind Dice and Lucas, because, you know, yeah, when Jasper's okay. over on the way. Um, I'll give the same thing to Manchester, Manchester if you... Alright, uh, the turret is down, and oh, Lucas right. has a fucked up hand, so I'm going to perform a quick fix on him, using my paramedic skill. Alright, that's a 13 difficulty. Yep. Um... Are you gonna stay there for 10 rounds? 20, I guess? Yeah, I don't think it could be a quick, only a trauma Fixes thing, take I a minute, and it. every round yeah. in combat is three seconds, so... Ah, mm -hmm. oh, man. That's gonna take as long as the... Okay, no, I can't do that, then. Uh... Yeah, wrap my hand in some clothes, and <laughs> that's it. You can stabilize them, but that doesn't really help. Yeah, considering that he's still higher than half health. Um, all right, in that case, my move is seven. My move is one of the highest things I have. Two, three, six, up here. And, uh, are there any doors over here or over here? There is a door on the north. All right, I want to point my gun at it, and uh, I want to point my uh, so launcher at it, and, and uh, I want to 
Unless... No, wait, no, I can't hold actions through the next action. If I'm the last one, then I just have to... Okay. There is also yeah, I'm just gonna... door here, sorry. Yeah. The door where? Uh, I... Here? Here. Gotcha. Alright. And one up here? Yeah. Okay. Um, actually, no, since I'm... Uh... Since I was looking over here earlier, like... Before we broke in, I'm going to... Yeah, over here instead. And, uh... Pistol pointed at the door. Not my... Right. Not my big fuck-off rocket launcher. That's on my back. We're back at dice. Envy, can you, uh... Keep, <laughs> keep watching Lucas over here? Absolutely, honey. Winchester. <laughs> Bleeding now. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. Is there any way you can go up those stairs? I, I think... Uh, aren't they like a <laughs> foot up? They're like 15 feet off the ground. Got a higher platform, I think, right? Alright, never mind. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna make my... One, two, three, four. Yeah, whenever you're in a fire escape, you need to kick the ladder down. Six, seven, eight, the one, point of having Winchester over there is to try to trap uh, trap them in there if they try to uh, get out that way. Yeah. Well, yeah, like if he's going in that way and you're sitting here at the front door and the, and the door to the right, they're going to come uh, either past me or you while he's flushing them out. That, that was my, my thought. But like if the thing is like so high up, uh, he can't get up there, so being where he's at, he's good. I'm gonna use my action, do a run toward the door, not actually open it just yet. Done. Gotcha. Uh, Winchester? Um... No idea what to do. Your radio comes to you, kind of. Uh, let's say when you regroup together, you work up a system. Uh, so you're hearing what's happening. You. I'm gonna take the there. Um, yes. I'll... There's there's literally nothing for me to do. I'll spin my gun aimlessly. All right. You get away, get away, my ass! I would have just shot him in the leg. <laughs> Uh, Alright, we are back with uh, Lucas then. Okay. So... Yeah, we... So you're... <clears throat> you're at the file, right? Yeah, I'm at the file. Mm -hmm. So I want to... First I want to have it, you know, to... I have to ID it, right? You can have it without IDing it, but you won't know what it is until you ID it. Yeah, I'm gonna ID it first. See if it's useful or I'll lose. Yeah, roll. Eight. Eight. Um, it seems to be. Uh, all a lot of fake information, like uh, the Miles Astron, uh, some different aliases uh, with addresses. Is just like fake identities that uh, Jazz uses? Okay, I'm. Um, I'm gonna grab it for later. Uh, might might be useful to me. Uh, then on the on the third floor there's bla a black ice, right? Let me see if I have a uh, raven. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah okay. And unfortunately, you're gonna need to take that down before you can slide past the passwords. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Come back, hammer. I should have bought more anti-program <laughs> stuff. Uh, I'm going to load my armor also. Okay, two actions. Okay. Um, mm, I can't slide past the raven right into the passwords. No, you okay. have to you have yeah, to crack the password before you can slide past the raven, can't you? 
Like you have to crack the password below you? You have to crack, you can... crack the password to go down, yeah. Yeah, so I, I have to fight the raven. I mean, you could ignore to... the raven, crack the password and try to... Ah, he... but, but he will get a few attacks. It's up to you. Mm. I'm gonna throw my hand at, at the password that... Uh... Uh, but you have do, to do you know what the raven first. does? Mm, no. What does the raven do? It, uh, I think it pretty sure can permanently delete programs on your um, cyber deck. Shit. Mm. So it, it just depends on whether you're fine sacrificing one or two. Yeah, that's what the raven does. Yeah. Raven, yeah. Uh, um, no, actually, yeah. a raven deresses the program, but it doesn't destroy it. Oh, it doesn't it, it, it does okay. some damage to the brain as well. It's not, uh, for, it's not yeah, that scary, I'm, but it's not harmless either. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to, to you know, go to the password. At right. least. You go down, roll me a defense, because the raven gets an attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Sorry, your speed. I should have loaded Speedy Gonzalez, but anyway. Then. Yeah, he, um, he misses you. Okay. All right, so that's a free movement, and you want to try the password? Go for it. Yeah. Backdoor it. Uh, but hang on, you want the password on the right or the password on the left? The password that's going to go to the control node or the password that you don't know? Mm, the password that goes to the control node has a hellhound, right? Uh, yeah. Ah, let's go with the password that I don't know. All right, go for it. Then. Unfortunately, that is not... And now, uh, the raven is gonna attack you. Can mm -hmm. you roll a defense? Okay, armor gives me a bonus. No, I think... No. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, I thought I'd roll. I rolled it. Nine. No, it hits me. Alright, I'm gonna go... Events is uh, your armor, and uh, odds is your uh, warm. Oh, your, your warm gets the rest, and you're gonna take uh, three points of damage. Uh, uh, brain damage or brain damage? Yeah. Ah, uh, because so they are they are more the armor so, so you take nothing. Yeah, I take no. Right, damage. at that moment, you. You know, the raven is attacking you, and behind the raven, you see uh, uh, Jazz lit, and she looks just like Colette, but in a digital version. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus. She Jesus appears Christ. there, and it's like, ah, so you are the little guy that managed to find me. I'm gonna fry your brain, motherfucker. And she takes out a sword and attacks you. Okay. Um, Do I roll anything? Yes. One second. Uh, Are you going to convey this to the rest of the group, to the rest of the party? Uh, I. I don't think he can. can. Yeah. Or not can yet. I think. I. I don't know. He. You have virtuality yeah. goggles, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You, you can speak. Yeah. You can. No you problem. can talk out loud. Ah. Yeah. I. Ju I just. Talk through the pain, then like, hey guys, jazz is, jazz is here, <laughs> in the architecture. I mean, she's she definitely knows. in the building. Yeah. So, someone get get to oh, her room because she's probably jacked uh, onto the interface fighting me. Oh man, yeah, if she's like in there, then she's... Yeah, she she's jacked yeah, on her move. running chair or something, so... I'll distract her and someone quickly fry her brain by unplugging her. Um, I'll do my best, buddy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> try to defend that. She's attacking you with a sword. Um, okay. Good thing you have that band hammer. 
Uh, okay, so I have to roll my defense, right? Yeah. Okay. Should I should have loaded shield? Nine. Nine. All right. This may hurt a little bit. Um, is no one else hearing that? No, yeah, I'm hearing it too. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know where it's coming from? I think it's Laurel. Uh, yeah, it's Laurel. Uh, ah, man. Alright, uh, she is basically takes the sword and smashes your armor and your digital armor just breaks into pieces. Okay. And then she's gonna try to stop you. Mm. Can you roll the tent again? Yep. Alright, you're gonna take one point of damage directly to your brain. No kidding him and my armor is gone, so... Okay, let me um, just take okay, one point of damage. Okay, so third, um, she writes up an armor. Hang on, it is uh, something. Uh, right, it's dice. What's up? Mm -hmm. Let me use the weapon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, that is weird. I'm, I think it's coming from Envy. Yeah. Can you guys hear me at least, like, clearly? We can hear you, but it's yeah, still static. Yeah, but there's a static. Alright, I tried something. Is it still static -y? Yeah. We can put up with that. And... Alright. As long as All you right. can still hear me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind, just, um, can you switch real quick to push to talk? Um, I can mute myself when I'm not doing things, at least. Uh, I have a mute button on my headset. Alright, that, yeah, let's see, that fixes it. Alright, dice. It's my turn? Yeah. Did Envy make a move? Because it wasn't at Lucas and then Envy? Yeah, and it's... Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Envy, it's your, it's your go. Um, Envy is going to first shout the dice. Uh, Sorry, I couldn't hear that. Jack well, there's Jack a lot of interference coming from your right microphone. So Maybe unplug it and plug it back in? Yeah, I've already tried that. Okay, I, I got you now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, Envy is going to shout to dice. Uh, she is jacked in right now, and Lucas is basically locked in mortal combat with this bitch. Let's <laughs> knock her down immediately. Breach and clear, boys, and she is going to kick this door open and then move immediately out of the way. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, what am I seeing through it's there? Is a kitchen. Alright, cool. Are there any other doors? Yeah, there's a door to the patio type of thing of the building. Uh, right here. Uh, let me draw it. That goes out to behind the fence. Uh, I'm gonna reveal just that bit so that it kind of makes sense. Alright. Uh, did I already use my action kicking in the first door? Yep. All right, so I can't kick in the second one then. Uh, all right, uh, dice. All right, I'm gonna open my door slowly, <laughs> just to see what what's in there. All right, uh, that is uh, the toilet. Uh, the toilet. Okay, it so has I was a going window to here that looks out. To the 
Vía de patio. Okay. Uh, Dice is just gonna... Move back in it. Well, he's gonna yell out, This room's clear, it's just a bathroom. And then he's gonna... One, two, three, four, five. Move back toward Lucas. And I guess that's my thing if I'm only... Because, like, I take the action right. to uh, open the door. Winchester? Do you, could I possibly get into the building from up there? There's probably like an entrance higher up. Uh, you can try to climb and hope that there is a. I mean, now you know this. There is a, a way to get in through the back from the patio if you climb. But yeah, I'll I'll run towards these monsters uh, here and try to get a leg up to get up that wall. Yeah, sounds good. Just do me a normal athletics. I'll say. Um, 11. Yep, no problem. You have clear view of most of the path, yeah? They give me um, here or like just jumping over? Maybe, yeah, you can jump over to here. Uh, you could potentially, if you wanted to get in quick, you could dash and try to get through the window. Sure. Uh, I, I just want to be clear. This this right here is a wall, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I mean, it looks like. I'll just jump and spin through. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Cool. You are in. You see. Uh, yeah. This door is open, so you can see uh, the turret there in the middle, and you catch the last moment when Dice was running that way. Um, okay, uh, Lucas, you're okay. Turn. So, I will load Hell Vault. Yep. Can I load through two, pro two programs, even if I use two actions? I believe so, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna upload Hell Vault and Shield. I use two, two of my actions, and for my third one, I will attack Yas with the Hellbolt. Go for it, bro. Hmm. 14. Nice. Um, let me just check their defenses. Yeah, definitely hit it. It's two damage. Are you attacking the jazz? The jazz, okay. yeah. Six. Six. Oh, and yeah. if if she doesn't have an insulated deck, she catches fire. All right. Um, well, there's no way for you to know if she does or not. Yeah. Do. So, who knows? Um, but hang on, six points of damage? Okay. Alright, that will be the end of your action. Now the Raven is gonna go for you. Mm -hmm. Can you try to defend? And she's going to go for your One, shield. To roll twice. Alright, they attack to you with the sword and get defended, and then she goes for your shield and mm -hmm. does. Uh, Three. Uh, what is the rest of shield? I think. Uh, wait. It says stops the first successful non-black ice program effect from dealing brain damage. After you stopping know. this damage, the shield rests itself. It should have a rest uh, stat. Uh, ah, the rest stat is seven. Seven. All right. So it took three. Um, And she's going to put up an armor. All right, uh, dice. All right. Oh, no, sorry, envy, envy. Oh, she 
she's probably, she's probably fixing her, her her mic or something. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I oh, was fixed. saying stuff. I'm sorry. Um, I want to kick the door in again uh, and hide behind the door frame before anything shoots at me. No worries. Uh, I'm going to say that's an action because you're hiding afterwards. Yeah. Um, but now you have guys seen basically um, yeah that uh, patio is full of, of rubbish and stuff there's like the garbage bins from the building go there uh, okay well what the fuck either we have to go up and get back down or we have to Envy, do you see any way Hey, in there? guys! I have an idea! I'm gonna bust! <laughs> what? What's that? What does that mean? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven. Get clear of this point. Will that, will that hit me? <laughs> I mean, I can't jack out of this. I... <laughs> uh, you can move well, as long as you're within the range of the jack. Okay. Okay. You have right. to be, um, I believe, I, was it, was it, uh, did somebody pin it? Um, I just know that I, uh, let's see, there's five spaces by five spaces, and glass radius is also five spaces by five spaces, center being on one of those five by Something fives, which means that... Winchester, you should have stayed outside. <laughs> I think I draw it. That will be the radius. Yeah, that's the that is the possible uh, fail radius. So just get out of that and let me shoot. Yeah, like for example, if the terminal is here, I think I could probably move here. Wouldn't it blow the terminal away? Well, it is uh, dice turn. Yeah. Uh, that's what you heard. Um. Before I move out the way, I'm going to do a conceal and reveal to see if there's a hidden yes. door. Roll for it. And of course, that's when I crit. Okay. Now taking Envy's, uh, Envy's advice, I'm going to move out. <laughs> One, two, three, right. four, five, outside. <laughs> All right. Um, Winchester. Manchester. Yeah. Or... I don't. Know, I don't know what's happening. She's gonna just, use her right. window. I'm. I'm about to blow up a wall. You heard Envy going. I'm gonna bust. Move away. I'm gonna bust. <laughs> oh, if I've heard that, I'm standing still. <laughs> All right, um, Lucas. I'm going to use a mid space action to move like here. You can move without without the mid space action. You can just move. Ah, okay. So I'll just Better move here. Those interface plugs are long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like at least just here around the corner. Okay. And okay, so I have to install this bitch still in the net. So I'm going to use to attack her with uh, with a sub can i can i use a sub c yeah okay then yeah, i'm gonna use sub to to use a program mm. oh no i'm gonna use a hell the hell vault against her again hell yeah hell vault yeah the hell vault okay Five ha ha ha, see what you did there, ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Yeah, no, that doesn't hit. Uh, That's one action. Being lucky tonight, man. 
Uh, okay, let's see what I can do. Uh, can I sap her with my remaining action? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to sap her at least. No, she's way too fast. Damn. Okay, um... My armor was destroyed, or...? It's the rest, you haven't the put rest. it back. You have now a shield. Yeah, I have a shield. And the bolt thing. Can I put on, can I put the armor can I load the armor again? Um I think that will take two actions if I'm not right. Oh no, it takes it takes one minute for the program to, to be able to be used again after mm. it has been derest. Yeah. So no. Uh okay, I'm going with my last uh, action I'm gonna load the crash. All right. Nice. Uh, the raven's gonna attack you. Okay. Try to defend. Ooh. Defender okay. wins. No problem. And now she's going to uh, attack you. Defend. All right. Alright, your shield is gone. It just deresses. Okay. And she's gonna load uh, um, a hellbot. Alrighty. As soon as the hellbot uh, gets loaded, it's gonna attack you. Try to defend. <laughs> Six, no, no way in hell. Ugh. You're gonna take seven points of damage and you catch a fire. <laughs> Tip for that. Yeah, se seven, right? 31 minus seven is. Yeah, I'm going to put 31 minus seven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad with math, sorry. And that will be all, and it is uh, Envy's turn. All right, folks. You see me catch uh, on fire again. <laughs> Look. Um, let's see. A quick question. What's the command for rhythm again? Uh, play, I think. Uh, exclamation part mark play right what what song do you want to recommend I can just pop it in <laughs> not that one not that one what do you mean no. this is a great one chipping in <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no 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 yeah I have different plans <laughs> Let me have it, let me have it. I have I have the I have what I want. Just go dash play. Ghostbusters. Alright. I'm going to fire I'm going to try to fire my launcher right here. But I no. understand or right mm -hmm. here. But I understand that I need to make a roll first, which is why I told people to get the fuck out of the way, because I'm not gonna hit it. Uh, that's surprisingly close. Um, fuck it. I'm gonna put my last three luck into that so that I hit on target. All right, so right here, is it? Right here. Five, five, uh, five, 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 square, centered. All right, uh, I'm just going to check. Can you roll damage? I need to check uh, how much it does a wall has. Oh, God, my right. That's why you got a rocket launcher! I think rocket uh, walls have 20 SDP. 20? All right. Um, what, what are the walls you're made out of? I guess it's prefab. 
Uh, Fab, like, like thin leaf. concrete. Yeah, that, I think. Not thin thin concrete, yeah. 24 probably smashes through that. No, unfortunately, I do have to uh, make a dry, make a uh, roll against my shell shock. What? But uh, I'm uh, Envy is shell shocked due to uh, explosives happening near oh. her, and the scars that you saw on her face. Hmm. Oh no! What happened to you there? I heard her say she had a grenade hit her lap one day. <laughs> so I need, to, I need to make a dice value 15 resist torture slash drugs check or lose minus two to every action. So, uh, Envy scared the fuck out of herself. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I now have minus two to all actions for, I think, a minute? No, it's four hours. All right, I'm gonna say I had 20, uh, and you rolled 20. All right, so this wall is basically gone. Mm -hmm. uh, but the one between the, the bathroom and all that. Um, uh, also, since I hit that's here... On the, on the outside of... Uh, but yeah, four four points go through, uh, right? Because the cover takes uh, straight through. Yeah. All of it. No, uh, when it's an explosion, they take all that damage unless they can evade it. Even. Oh like, yeah, I also got the. I I also. D no, wait, did I also? No, I didn't because it's not no, centered. Didn't. Okay, I barely missed the turret. Like when it when uh, when you're using cover and there's an explosion, if the explosion takes out the cover, uh, whoever's behind it takes all that damage as well, unless they can evade it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is with shotguns that uh, it, that is different, right? Or with a with yeah, a shot. different than shotties. Well, okay. with explosives, it's uh, if you destroy the cover, it basically becomes part of the shrapnel. Yeah. Yeah. Makes makes sense. Ouchie. Okay. Um, one second. <laughs> Wait, four points of damage. Okay, uh, four, uh, it's armor ablated, yeah? Uh, yeah, it should be yeah. double ablated if it's a normal Oh, yeah, because I'm using AP rockets. Okay. Double ablation. Twenty. Four minus nine. <laughs> Shit. Fifteen. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get her to do a concentration check. Yeah. Look as you see her scream. <laughs> in in very yes! and you hear her screaming in real life. Uh... <laughs> All right, she managed like to stay imagine... connected. Uh... Imagine playing a Street Fighter and, a, and, and then a bomb goes off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but it's um, Winchester. No. Alrighty. Isn't it my uh, turn? Since Envy just went? Yeah, yeah. sorry, sorry, dice. Hey Winchester, do you got the do you got the net runner? Cause I'm gonna put oh. I'm gonna put out Lucas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, Lucas, you can you can jack out safely now on your next turn because uh, we found this bitch. <laughs> okay, ladies awesome. and gentlemen of America, we got him. <laughs> All right, I want to use my turn she to put out Lucas. Can't run now. I want to use my turn to put out Lucas so he doesn't take any more damage. <laughs> Go for it. Do I have to roll anything? You gonna try to jack him out? Is that what you're doing? No, no, no. no. Put the fire out. Oh, Just put, put him out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no, it's just an action. Yeah, you you turned him off. No problem. 
right. turn them off. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's my that's my action. Done. Uh, we just All right, I'll start moving forward. One, two, uh, one, two, three. It's kind of an odd fit. Four, five. I should be able to get there. Da, da, da. Oh. Yeah, that, that wall is basically gone. It's just like a massive hole of debris that's still falling. And the room yes. is just full of... Uh, uh, as, as you see, there's a cyber chair, screens, uh, servers, um, boxes, folders, photos of collect all over the place. We have these 5.7 meters. That's a weird measurement. We used to have these in um, feet or I can't remember. Uh, every square is two feet. So yeah, you are like... Ready? Four and a little bit away from her. By the way, I'm, I guess I'm in uh, my perfect headshot range. So I'll just take a um, hand will fold out and stretch a very dangerous, scary looking tech pistol into my hands. And I'll take a aimed headshot towards her head. Aimed? Okay. Oh shit. I'm wrong. <laughs> Be like, the first, if you don't kill her, the first one was a warning shot. <laughs> Alright, so that will miss unless you dump, what is it, uh, six luck? Am I correct? Oh no, uh, look, it's already factored in there. Um, it, it actually should be 14, because I was fixing this macro for someone else. But it's eight plus eight plus three minus eight plus one d ten. It's already factored in. I customized the macro myself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My okay. skills are just that high with the handgun. I'm I the see, most accurate person in the server. I see the minus eight there. Uh, well, you hit. <laughs> I, I know I hit. Much. It's like a ten oh, percent chance okay. I miss. <laughs> All right, roll. Um... Roll to, critical. roll to knock her on she, the head with a fucking bullet. As it is now, she's uh, mortally wounded. And... So that's, I think that's 40 damage, right? No, 45 damage. God damn. She's mortally wounded or seriously wounded? No, uh, mortally. Fucking mortally she's, wounded. She's, she's dead until, I mean, she's dying. She's so she, has... she's a, she is falled below zero HP. We win. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna fry Way below. <laughs> and she has whip, whiplash, which gives her plus one to save. So that will be... She's on plus two. Okay, yeah. Uh, she's just convulsing. I'm um, not sure if she's alive or not yet, but not for long. Uh, Lucas, you see her disappear. Okay. Uh, and uh, you're just there like a raven. So uh, there's Don't. still a raven, or the black eye just disappears as well? No, she disappeared, the raven's still there, the architecture is there. Uh, yeah, you need, need to, to jack out, file. homie. Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to jack out of here. We should <laughs> be doing sure? this from her, from her computer, if anything. Yeah, I mean, I have... My, my hand is pretty blown out. <laughs> I got on fire, I pretty much... I don't have all... Yeah, we can get everything on the on the mid space. I just realized not even a goat hasn't haven't hasn't seen me been aimed shot yet, and so he was like, "Oh, well, that's gonna be a fifteen minus eight. I was like, "No, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that is so many numbers, you should. Yeah, no, um, I, I get Lucas, that. Do you have luck. Luck. I have six luck out of six. Do you want to spend it all as we are about to finish it? Nah, yeah, fuck it. Okay, as you're thinking about unplugging, uh, mm -hmm. do you remember what I told you of the dead switch? The dead man switch? Yeah, the, yeah. The, uh, as long as shit fucked it, oh, uh, it yeah, as soon as she's dead, uh, everything gets uploaded. Yeah, so if you unplug now, you still have a little window before it starts uploading, but you have to get to the last level to stop that from happening. Um, 
I'm not gonna I mean, blow or, them. Or, or, or you could, I don't know, blow the whole place up. But it, since you're there, it could be an easier task. And V is willing to blow the whole place up. Just a heads up. <laughs> what if we stabilize her? She has some. She has some trauma to get past. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Winchester is a medic, right? Yeah, we could try to stabilize her on, and I try to stop the files from getting uploaded. She she might die in her turn though, but uh, the harm assist might be able to save her life. Hmm. I don't know, Lucas, your call. You can try to keep going to see what, if you can find whatever that switch is and disable it, or uh, you can try to do it in mid space. It's, it's up to you. You've been warned. Uh, fuck. Um, okay, I'm going to. Ah, so much responsibility. I'm going to load my worm again. Okay, one action. I'm going to try to backdoor the password that... Go for it, bro. Yeah. 12. You're through. Nice. You will have to slide down the raven, though. Yeah. Okay. Slide. Six. Uh, you go down, but the raven follows you. Okay. Um, no worries. The raven attacks you. Six. That's defense. Hey, it hits you. Uh, your uh, armor is gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're gonna take another six points of damage. Fuck. Uh, but as you reach that level, um, I was the original. Um, there's a control node, there's an imp in there. The control node is for the turret, so the imp is just like spinning around like mm -hmm. turret not found, turret not found. And so as long as you don't touch him, I don't think he will try to do anything. All right, um, now the role that we all be waiting for. Uh, it's an Atlas. If you're trying to go under body. Yeah. That would be, that would save Envy. Two, so, it's one for the critical injury, right? And one for the thingy. Yeah. So her, her body is five, yeah? The moment she gets too mortally wounded. Uh, I think her death because, save is because of the is critical four hit. right now, right? Because of the critical will be four, but because you did whip slash, it gives a plus one to the dead save. So she rolled so a four three. and she needed a four. Uh, yeah. I think she dies. Oh shit! <laughs> um, yeah, if 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 it had been any other critical injury, she would have lived. Um, Wait, so. Yeah, so that mean that would mean her death save penalty is three, but um, uh, if your death save penalty is ten and you roll a ten, you still live. But that's with a ten, but you have to roll under your body. So her body is five because of the critical injury, it becomes four. Four, yeah? and then with the other one, it and becomes then. three. And she rolled a three, which all becomes three, so it's equal. Um, uh. Yeah, it needs to be under your body, unfortunately. Yeah, she, uh, she. It, look, she got she got hit forty points of damage to the brain after being grenade by twenty four points of damage. Her body <laughs> is, is too much. And I'm not even counting that she jacked out. She was forcibly forcibly jacked out by being dead, which means yeah, all of your black eyes immediately took her. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's a, she she's, she's just. Great, <laughs> Her head is on fire, basically. Uh, but the dice, it is your turn. Kirk um, dice. it's my turn, actually. That's what I mean, Envy, it's your turn. <laughs> 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 All right, um, I am going to try to move into the room. Two, three, yeah. four, five. You'll see me blowing the barrel eight. of my gun. 
And uh, these are servers, right? Um, from yeah, I mean there are things with lights. All right. So maybe not six. Uh, right there. Uh, five, six. Seven. Up a grenade and run. <laughs> Microwave all the electricity in there. Yo, that's an idea. idea. Oh. That, will, that is an idea. That would forcibly jack me out. Let me jack me out first. Okay, but like, that black ice isn't gonna hurt you if it's blown up. Well, the, yeah. <laughs> Be yeah, also okay. blowing up the system that he's in. <laughs> yeah, like if you drop if you drop a grenade, it's gonna like jack him out pretty easily too. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, we're de we're destroying the sword that's stabbing you by melting the sword on fire. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Let me jack out, and then we blow this place up. <laughs> All right, now that's a good plan. If we're gonna and get rid of the virus inside dead. your body by microwaving your whole body. <laughs> going to move right here and ready the rocket launcher for her second shot. All right. She's going to try to aim directly at everything. So is, you, is, you, is your plan that wait for Lucas to jack out and then microwave the whole place? Um, well, Envy... Lucas jacked out. Uh, yeah, it looks like Envy's going to blow the whole place. Blow the whole room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Let's bust. <laughs> Actually, no, that is a out. very small hole. <laughs> no, this whole Maybe thing is Maybe we should go at the good No, no, the, the whole wall is... The whole wall is gone. Oh, right. I can just, like, yeah, I can just free fire one in there. Yeah. Can I, can I, go, can I go real quick first? <laughs> Obviously. All right, what I would like to do is run over to uh, Jazz's body, take her cyber deck, take her goggles, and run. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's so you, you, you just kind of rip them most out. of it is over the, the cyber deck is on fire uh, I'm, you, I'm gonna rip it off her body and leave <laughs> all right yeah i will i will lie oh man i could have i could have spliced that out man now it's all damaged <laughs> it was on fire we don't have time Giant. this thing this thing is counting down <laughs> all right yeah it's like to the to Lucas. Okay. It's just like three seconds to see if you can manage it. You are on the password. You have a raven following you. You have one more level to go down. And uh, okay, I'll I'll do the, the the level down to see if I can find the files of loading. And if not, I'm jacking up. I'm fuck all this. <laughs> all right. You go one level down. Okay. Uh, now. Hear me out. There is a file. It, mm -hmm. You're pretty sure it's is that it's the last level, but there is also um, a kraken. Oh God! What does a you kraken? Can... <laughs> a kraken bites really hard. Um, you can grab the file Very. and jack out on safely, and hope that if you take enough damage, your friends are gonna stabilize you. Okay, well, we have a med tech uh, with us, so... We have I'm a going med tech to... and a good non-med tech medic. Yeah. Plus, I got... Yeah. A, plus, I have a... Plus, I have um, a subscription to uh, Trauma Team with Exec. Awesome. So, yeah, we are going with that. <laughs> I'm All grabing right. the file and jacking So, you out. just arrived. The raven is behind you. The raven is about to attack you. The kraken rises up on top of the file and tries to grab you. You slide down, grab the file, and just plug yourself out, and it hurts like hell. You're gonna take this much damage. 18 points of damage. To you. Hey, that's oh. not as bad as I thought. Yeah, damn. Yeah, I'm fucking yeah, dead. I'm on zero. Lucas, oh, snap. <laughs> you plug yourself out and just fall, and you are um, mortally wounded. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> What's your body? Five. You you will all have a go first. So Winchester, I mean dice. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, isn't it my turn? Yeah, after it's, this? En it's Envy's turn. Yeah. 
Yeah, but all right. Um, Winchester, what is your uh, what is your modifier for first aid, paramedic slash surgery? Um, I think because his he has a critical injury of crushed fingers, you're not going to be able to use your first aid to stabilize him. Um, no, I, I, I have paramedic. I have ten paramedic, ten first aid, and ten cyber tech. Uh, in that case, I have fourteen I'm a good paramedic. Medic. Okay, I think that you should focus on Lucas. What's your move? Five. Five? Very so you won't be able dice. to make it to him. All right, I need... I, in which case, I should probably focus on him. All right. Um, well, you could drag him to halfway. That's an idea. Yeah. Uh, do I just get to use all of my move even while I'm dragging him? Dice, what's your um, yeah, first Yeah, Romian, Romian Athletics, you saw that you don't trip and drop him. My and first... then you can use your movement while dragging him. My first aid is only a six, but I do have a speed heal I got from a, from a safe. That won't, that won't save me. They need to not be mortally wounded. mortally wounded for that. God damn it, okay. Um, it'd be best if Envy rushes over to him, tries to heal him. If that doesn't work, Dice drags him closer to me to where I can get to him and... Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, nice. Gotcha. Alright, so... Uh, what about my 11 athletics? Does that mean I'll be able to drag him? Like, I just, if you, if I'm you, gonna tug him his leg. To. Are you gonna try well, to... But, are you but gonna try what to you wanna do? Do you want to try to stabilize him? Or do you want I'd to drag I, him? I'll, I'll do a lot better trying to stabilize him than by trying to drag him, so... Damn it! Ouch. Are you are you rolling? Cause I don't see. Yeah, I don't see it. Rolling. I don't see the roll. I did it. Oh wow, my connection to the server is interrupted. What? Hey, it's off. Hold on. I got a twelve. Did you just got this a twelve. <coughs> hey, I am. Oh, I think you need a, what for mortal? You need a fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. Well, what's the DV to um for his crushed fingers? A thirteen. Guess that might be higher. Okay, so I discovered what has happened. What? Um, the the phone that I was using for hotspot died. Um, I got a twelve. That was a zero plus two plus eight plus one d ten. Zero plus two plus eight plus two, which is not sufficient. All right. I am not able to stabilize him. Dice, move that nice. man. Yeah, on it. All right, so I'm gonna grab him. One, two, three, four, five. Move him All up right, here. Throw me an athletics. You saw that you don't drop him. They're like, just don't crit fail, and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, of what's, course. What's Lucas? What's Lucas's body? Five. Uh, Dice has a body of eight. Dragging him should shouldn't be a worry. All right. Yeah, no, no problem. You you drag him. Sweet. Uh, just no, he's, Drag he's, him! He's on, guys! Oh, he, oh he's, he's not on fire, but he's bleeding from his eyes, from his ears. And it's just, as you drag him, there's just a trail of blood. And he's just not just shaking. Uh, still kind of holding the phylum, the virtual file on his hand. Without the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> With the crush fingers. Holding yeah, something I that only have neither of you can see. Three fingers on one hand now. <laughs> I lost two fingers. <laughs> Winchester. Uh, one, two, and then I'll look at him and I'll say like, "Geez, only this much blood. Don't you know how much you have in your system?" And then I'll, um, <laughs> I'll just give him a tiny injection, oh, a shit. little steric, and then I'll just literally step right over him like he is in there. <laughs> <laughs> well. You, you see the light, like Lucas, uh, with that roll, you just take a deep breath and you're not, it's, you're kind of glitching between the net and reality and the net just slightly fading out. They are but, like uh, Neo in Matrix, right? Like he's just saying. <laughs> but, uh, but and then you, the moment you, he tries to move his head, I'll put it back down, but no, you're going to stay there for a second. Also, you owe me 350. I'll walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, you are stabilized, and we're, yeah, I think we're going over time, so let's wrap it up. Um, yeah. 
Um, Luca, so he's stabilized. So... He has the files. I'm gonna blow shit up. I want. I mean, uh, he, he he basically removed the files. Uh, right. I still want to blow shit up. I, I just want to aim generally in this area. I don't even want to hit a particular point. Can I? Can I just ask you to give it, give that to me since I'm not particularly aiming. I'm just dry firing into the room. Yeah, you're gonna blow up the whole room. Blow the whole room up. Fuck yeah! Okay. Busty. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna roll one d10. If it's a one, the roof is gonna fall on you guys. Can I roll no, evasion? It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> all right. that, yeah, that place just... You do hear sirens and NCP should be coming anytime now. Because I, there's I people that say, if, upstairs. If the roof falls on us, we don't have a next to trucks. Uh, like, I, I don't have any drugs that will save us. <laughs> no amount of yeah, drugs is gonna help with this. <laughs> you hear... You see people, like, you hear the uh, emergency... The fire escapes there. People are going down. People are running out of the building. <laughs> People are calling the police. It's just madness. <laughs> but you, you, you blow the shit out of that place. Like Fuck all, yeah. all, all the last thing that falls down, half burned, is a photo of like Colette in one of the job, and it just burns to a crisp. <laughs> cool. My hand I'm... opens up in probably the creepiest way possible, and the gun just folds back into it. Can I imagine like all, all the people living out, uh, upstairs, like seeing a, a, a girl with a locker rocket launcher, this guy bleeding <laughs> from, from every hole in his body. <laughs> yeah. All right. I you... still have ten rockets. <laughs> Okay, uh, so to wrap it up, let's say that you guys, um, Nani, Manny, Manny, yeah, Manny. Manny, he, yeah. When you call him, he was like two blocks away. So the first rocket launcher, he just nope out of there. Uh, so <laughs> you, you call, you call him, and he's like, I'm not coming back there. Uh, you sweet talk him onto it. He finally comes back and uh, picks you guys up. Um, and. Um, yeah, we you... head back to Colette with good news. Yeah, yeah. No, it's probably um... getting to be like daybreak about right now, huh? Like perfect scene right there. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you arrive as the sun is rising, Colette asleep. And like, yeah, and the nomads are just like kind of watching over her still. And, um... uh,. Envy wakes her up, gives her the chip for, uh, gives her the shard that has all the, uh, sensitive data on it. Envy hasn't no, taken no, no, a no, peek. No, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Lucas, mm -hmm. this is totally your choice. No one needs to know. Okay. But you took the file and you deleted it off him, so there's no copies. You now have the only file with these things. You can't just tell them that you erase everything because you know that this is worth a lot of money. Or you can just delete it for real or you can give it back to her. It's up to you. Mm. I mean, the file, yeah, it's worth a shitload of money, but now nah, I'm just deleting the file, all of it. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to piss off the chick with the with the rocket launcher. <laughs> yeah, I'm wiping that 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 <laughs> shot out. It's a virgin right. shot that I'm gonna keep. That's a price. Nice. But so everything is gone. Uh, Colette is not completely happy that uh, her childhood memories are all erased. But she's like, I I shouldn't have kept them in the first place. Um, I guess this is my life now. Um, I'll I, walk I up behind I, her, pat her on I, the back, and just be like, "Welcome to Night City." Does <laughs> Envy <laughs> offers a hug? Does Colette take it? Um. Oh. <laughs> Envy she, is offering she, she a hug. Hugs, she hugs you, but 
she like looks at the group like what's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> Dice, Dice, uh, like, twirls his finger around his temple, like, crazy. As he gets on the phone uh, to Ormondo. <laughs> she's, uh, she's like, well, uh, Dice, see if you can salvage that gig in Paris. Uh, and yeah, Ar Armando picks up the phone. And he's like, dude, what the fuck? I, you know how many messages I got last night from this fucking jazz person? Don't worry about her. She's not going to be around anymore. <laughs> you got, you, I fucking can, can, blew her up! <laughs> tell, tell, me, tell me a good news. How, well, how, how's Colette? How's everyone? Colette's safe. Colette's fine. We took care of her bug and uh, we got the information back and deleted it. So mm -hmm. you guys should be good to go. Where's our Eddie's? Oh man, why do you have to delete it for? I, I, thought, I, I thought you knew the meaning of business, but... Dude, I, 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 I ripped the, the agent out of Dice's hand like, hey man, I was dying there. I didn't think. I just wipe it out. Fuck you and fuck everything. Fuck Night City and fuck okay, this world. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck you. <laughs> and he's just like, fuck yeah, you tell him, Lucas. <laughs> and I lost two of my fingers because of your bullshit. <laughs> all right, all right. Did you happen uh, to pick your fingers idea? up? You, you're all gonna get paid um, 1,000 each. Because uh, actually, Dice safe. is going to be getting fifteen hundred. I'm only getting five hundred. Um. Okay, uh. so he gives you one thousand each because you the data didn't leak. And uh, how much to each? One thousand each. Okay. Dice get fifteen hundred. I get five hundred. I told Dice, and, uh, I, I, I promised that I would eat, that any expenses would be coming out of mine. Then he also robbed the business and recuperated that, but... Yeah. I don't fucking care. He only got 400 <laughs> back. He still put forth cash. Yeah, um, on, yeah. So I got 400, I got 400 back, so would that be 1,100? That'd be... For each, and then, like, I get 1,600 for me? <laughs> Yeah, basically. Okay. And all right, I think we're gonna call it there. What up, guys? And then, thanks for watching. Oh my god. Uh, well, that took a left turn when Envy decided to knock on the door with a rocket launcher. But hey, can't argue with the results. See you next time. Peace.